Good evening, wonderful people, great beer friends, wherever you are on this planet. Once again, we are welcoming you to Radio Biafra live transmission from our studios here in London on this day, the seventh day of January in the year of our Lord 2014. With the time now standing at approximately a minute past 6 p.m. here in the UK, a minute past 7 p.m. in Briafaland, wherever you are on this planet, across the entire 24 time zones of the world, we say good morning, we say good afternoon, we say good evening, and we say good night to some of you. Because Radio Biafra, unlike any other, is listened to across every continent on the surface of this earth. My name is Namde Kano. I happen to be the host and director of Radio Biafra, and by the grace of God, a servant of the wonderful people of Biafra. Therefore, wherever you are, we must say welcome to you. We would also start by reminding you that today is our Tweet Tuesday. Today we have been tweeting. If you have not tweeted, we ask you to comment immediately. All you need to do is to put down the message that you can find on Radio Biafra London on Facebook. Send it out, put it on your timeline with hashtag Biafrans, hashtag Indigenous People of Biafra. We welcome you once again. We remind you that this is your radio station. This is Radio Biafra. You support it. You fund it. It belongs to you. You set the tone. You tell us what to do and we do it. We are here to effect the will of our people. We are here to do as Biafrans command us to do from all over the world. We, are, we have presence in over 70 countries around the world. We have presence in over 100 regions around the world. We are growing day by day. Our listener base is growing. We are the largest broadcaster coming out of Africa. We are the largest broadcaster coming out of Africa. What we run here is a dedicated program towards the restoration of the sovereignty of the Republic of Biafra. That is why we exist. That is why some of us were born. We don't do anything else apart from seek the restoration of Biafra, not just that Biafra may come, but that it may come in truth and in all honesty. That is why we remain incorruptible here. That is why Radio Biafra is incorruptible. That is why everything we do, we keep our hands clean. Everything we do, we offer honor and glory to the Most High, Chukwa Biyama, upon whom we rest all our trust and our belief, upon whom we know that Biafra must come. As long as we remain whiter than white and whiter than snow, there is no way that Biafra will not come. We are, we must remain without fear before our enemies. Our enemies are afraid of us, rather than us being afraid of them. That is why wherever you are, if you say you are a Biafran, if you identify yourself with indigenous people of Biafra, if you worship on this radio station every blessed day, then you must remain without fear before our enemies. We don't entertain fear. Fear is not something that comes into our lexicon. That is why Biafra is going to come. There is no way we are going to retreat. We cannot surrender. It is either we get Biafra or we die getting Biafra. There is no alternative. There is no third way out. There will be no prevarication. There will be no retreat. There will be no negotiations with the Nigerian government. Never, ever, ever are we going to negotiate unless they want us to sign the instruments of statehood, in which case we can talk to them. We do not discuss with Nigerian government. We despise the people that has made life incredibly awful for us. We despise those that have bombed us, those that have been killing us since 1945, those that have rendered us destitute, those that deported us from Lagos, those that are bombing us, those of them who are killing us, cutting out fetuses from the belly of their mothers, those that kill wives and feed their flesh to the husband to eat, those that forcibly convert us to Islam, they are making life unbearable for us. They are making us question the reason why Chukwa Biyama himself created us. But we are very confident. Our belief is unshakable. Our desire to get Biafra cannot be questioned. They must know this. 
that we are fanatical about Biafra. We are insane about our country and we're going to get it. Anything standing on our way will be killed. Anything at all, regardless of who you are, if you stand in our way, you will die. We promise you. That is what is going to happen. This is 2014. 2014 is not 1968. It is not 1969. It is not 1970. The march towards our restoration has begun. Anything on our path, anything that is stupid enough to stand before us will be crushed. We have our numbers all over the world. Our men, our women, our sons, our daughters are determined. They are dedicated to this struggle. We have not come to steal anything from anybody. We have not stolen from anyone. And we're not going to steal from anybody. All we are asking for is to be returned to the way we were before the white man came. We want to go back to the same Biafra land we had. All our freedoms that we had before the white man came and handed us over to Hausa Fulani bigots. Handed us over to the Mohammedan Emirates of the North. People that don't understand what it means to be civilized. We, we are taken backwards in time. Our civilization was set back nearly 3,000 years to the Stone Age, to the Dark Ages. That is where we have remained up until this day. As the children of the light, we have refused to dwell within darkness. We have decided that Biafra must come and come it should between now and the end of next year. We will fight, we will negotiate. We will deal with people, those that see reason in our quest. One thing we cannot do is to compromise. We are not massob. I am not a Wazurike. Nothing ever before us is like us. Nothing after us will be like us. We are different. We are different. People never believed that men and women of our type exist. But we are here to tell them that Chukwa Abiyama himself has determined that we should come. And because we came, there's going to be Biafra. You will tell your friends this evening or this morning or this afternoon, depending on where you are in the world, that Radio Biafra is on live transmission. Tell your friends and family to go to YouTube. Biafra Television on YouTube. We are simulcasting on that platform as well. We are on www.radiobiafra.co. If it has crashed where you are, if radiobiafra.co is not coming up where you are, please go to peopleofbiafra.org. Peopleofbiafra.org, all the Ws, peopleofbiafra.org. If you go to indigenouspeopleofbiafra.org, you should be able to get us. Please download Radio Biafra app. Download our app. It's free. Radio Biafra app is free. If you go to Android Market, if you have an Android phone, go to Android Marketplace, type in Radio Biafra. You will see Radio Biafra app. is for free. You can download it. If you go to iTunes, if you are on any of the Apple platforms, if you're on iPad, if you are on any of the um, um, smartphones that Apple makes, Please, 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 like iPhone and all the rest of them. It could be your laptop, anything at all. Please go to iTunes. Search for Radio Biafra. You will see our app. You will download it. It is free, please. Radio Biafra app is free. We are still encouraging people to tweet. If you can't tweet for Biafra, how can you fight for her? If you cannot tweet, something as simple as tweeting, we want you to tweet. We want you to continue to add your friends to Radio Biafra London, which arguably is the largest Facebook group in the world. The largest Facebook group in the world is Radio Biafra. That goes to show that people are no longer afraid to be associated with their own name. Our name is Biafra. That is the name we are going to bear. That is the name that will endure until God himself comes down to earth. Because we are seeking to restore his own kingdom upon this earth. We are not just seeking to build a nation. We are seeking to bring back the kingdom of God, his mercy and his grace upon mankind by making sure that he is worshipped in truth and all honesty. Because he is the only one true God not two, not three, not four, only one, Chukwa Abiyama, the creator of the heavens and the earth, upon whom we rest our hope, 
upon whom we rest our aspirations, upon whom we know that his eternal blessing shall always abide with us as long as we maintain our cause, as long as we are not deflected, as long as we are not distracted, as long as we do not hesitate, as long as we remain without fear before our enemies, as long as our pursuit is honorable, as long as we remain incorruptible. Biafra must come because the Most High has decreed it. And we have between now and next year to do so, to let the world know that we exist. Every coordinator, wherever you are, you must begin to prepare. This is Radio Biafra Live Transmission. We are coming to you live and direct from London, from our studios here in London. Wherever you are, you must tell your friends, put it on your BlackBerry, put it on your WhatsApp, use every social media platform you run. You must tell those around you that Radio Biafra is on. And you must get them to listen get your friends to listen with you inform them we have millions of listeners all over the world you must tell them very soon our lines will also open we have paid for the um skype which i paid for it today which i'm is doing a lot of work he's doing a mugwa i don't know if a man does a mugwa which i has a very beautiful biafran son he's taking care of this boy and which i also is finding the time to work for his country for 20 hours a day those are the people we call Biafrans, those who are dedicated. Ike Chukwe Nyago is also fighting for his country, working for more than 24 hours at a stretch sometimes. I seem to beg him to sleep. These are Biafrans. But it's the man is the same, Rita Nibogu is there. Even a friend of Biafra like Aramonda is doing her bit for the country, working exceptionally hard for her country, or for friends that come from the country called Biafra. We also have our dear sister, Ngozi Madu, who is working very, very hard. Or is it Chukwu, the former from Australia? We have beer friends all over the world. Clifford Iranians is in the USA. Ekwenche is there. Dr. Justin Akujese. We also recognize the amazing intellectual contributions of Dr. Innocent Odeni Ibo. Our people are everywhere on this planet, and they are called beer friends, and they are tuned into Radio Biafra this evening. I am humbled to say that Carol Monday is with me. Carol Monde has joined me. Very soon we shall give you the number with which to call us with. You can always add Radio Biafra to your Skype contact list. They are the two platforms, sometimes three. We are on Viber, we are on WhatsApp. Please, you can also get through to us via those platforms as well. We are on Viber, we are on WhatsApp. You can send us messages there too if you send it to us. If it's interesting, we shall read it. Carol Monday, I shall introduce you to the people of Biafra. They are everywhere on this planet waiting to hear your voice. The same way they are hoping to hear from Barista Mamezu when he is disposed because he's in a meeting. Barista Mamezu is a barrister and attorney at law here in the UK. He went to a business meeting. He shall be with us later. Please, Carol Monday, our people are waiting. Could you please acknowledge them? Good evening, blessings worldwide. And as I say every every time I'm on broadcast, it's good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to the world because we do that to the entire world. And, and there is many blessings in all over the world because unfortunately they've been scattered. They've been scattered through what has, what has happened in Nigeria and the atrocities that have been going on in Brafra. I'm a human rights activist here in London, Carol Mundy, based in London. I am for the human rights of the indigenous people, especially the indigenous people of Brafra. Their right to bear their name, their right to self-determination, and their right to protect their children. It is Twitter Tuesday. Don't forget to Twitter. Hash Brafra. Let's keep Twittering, please. Everybody out there, welcome and good evening. Thank you very much. Good evening to you as well. We commend you for the work you have done, all your sacrifice, the way you abandoned your family to make sure that you serve the people with an honorable cause. We commend you for that. And Biafrans all over the world are eternally grateful to you for the services you are rendering to the indigenous people of Biafra. In the same vein, we must remember all our coordinators. I must remember Thomas. Onyema, who is our coordinator here, our able coordinator here in the United Kingdom. He is working hard for his country. He is a Biafran. Wherever you see Thomas Onyema, you must acknowledge him. He is a Biafran. He is working very hard here in the UK and assisted, of course, by our dear brother Osita. They are doing marvelous work. They are working very hard to ensure that this very message of Biafra reverberates at home where we come from, in that sceptered land. That land we call Biafra blessed the people that gave humanity democracy. We are the birthplace of democracy. 
Ebe Peru Goberen Kesi Bebele Kan Kukwaya, the birthplace of justice, the birthplace of equality, the birthplace of fairness, the birthplace of camaraderie, and the birthplace of justice. That is where we come from, and that is where we want to go back to to Biafra land. This is Radio Biafra. We must welcome you once again. If you're joining us for the very first time, if you're a first time listener, your ears are not deceiving you. This is Radio Biafra live broadcast from London. You are listening to us either via W www.radiobiafra.co. You're listening to us via Biafra television on YouTube. Or you're listening to us via peopleofbiafra.org, even indigenous people of biafra.org or Radio Biafra app. We have a free application. You can put it on your phone. You can show your friends. You can play Radio Biafra for them. Go to Android Market and download it. Go to iTunes as well and download Radio Biafra app for free. We believe right now that you have informed all your friends. You've told them about Radio Biafra live transmission on this very day, the seventh day of January. In the year of our Lord, 2013, we shall proceed to now bring you the news headline and accompanying news summary. It's quite packed today, you see. We are reporting on this day rather very sadly. As somebody put it on Radio Biafra London on Facebook, Islam has claimed another Igbo son as well. Mohammedan soccer coach Emeka Ezugo has converted to Islam. Our brother or former brother Emeka Ezugo has gone over to Islam. They took us at our word literally and they are moving in to convert as many people as possible. These are the people going to stop us from getting Biafra. These are the people working with Owasrike that will stop us from getting Biafra. They are the ones working for the agents of darkness, working for Islam, even using the name of Biafra. This man is gone. He's a former Nigerian footballer, and he is a Mohammedan soccer coach. Mohammedan Emirate of the North is the house of Fulani people, including the, the Kanuri people and all those around them. That was the name they were given, the Mohammedan Emirates of the North. That is their name. He has gone over to Islam. We have lost somebody to Islam this very day. Igbo leaders claim they have rejected Okurumu's panel's report on national conference. We shall delve into that. We are also reporting that Yorubas are the originators of lies, deception, tribalism, and the politics of the Zoological Republic of Nigeria, the zoo itself, that very place that every manner of animal inhabit. They look human. They even have names. They claim they went to university. The only way you will know they're animals is because they don't actually practice what they have read in school. That's the only difference. But that is how you know they're monkeys. That very zoo that inhabits monkeys, parambulating, moving about as men and women. Those that brought lies to it are Yoruba people. Yoruba are the problem in the zoo. Their lies have continued for daring to come out of the hiatus. To talk about Stella Odua, we shall delve into them this very evening. We dealt with Awolowo yesterday. We are returning to that very subject. The criminal known as Obafemi Awolowo, we are dealing with this very man. And all the criminal conspiratorial people that surround the Yoruba media. We are dealing with them this very day. This is Radio Biafra. We are also reporting to the hearing of our listeners all over the world. There has been an explosion in a Rivers High Court. Rivers being Igwacha. Igwacha, they named it Port Harcourt after the Secretary of State that fancied Lugard's wife. The man was in love with another man, was bewitched by Flora Shaw. That man, they named Igwacha after him. Port Harcourt, Port Harcourt, this very man, Cecil Harcourt, was the Secretary of State here, responsible for the colonial territories when Lugard was there. There has been an explosion in a court there. More bombs are coming. They are coming. We don't support violence, but we can understand why people would bomb a court. APC House leadership insists that Okonji Wala must answer 50 questions. They are not discussing Sanusi, Lamido Sanusi, for giving $1 billion to an Islamic bank in Malaysia. They are not discussing the very fact that no Hausa person has been held responsible for the looting of the national treasury. 
but they want the women who are working very hard, the African women, to answer to them. APC has moved to the house, and we shall be on the trail. Anywhere they go, against Okonji Wala, against Stella Odu, against Jonathan, any of them that move against any Biafran, we go after them. This evening, we shall be looking at APC in very great detail. We are also reporting that someone has written that the amalgamation must be rethought. Malcolm Fabi Yi wrote, rethinking the amalgamation. We shall delve into that very briefly as well as we dealt with this issue of amalgamation until an earthquake happens here very shortly. People will hear about it and they will know how serious we are. Passengers stranded in Ibo land over rising fares. They have migrated back. They can't come out again because there is no money. They are stranded. The largest animal movement on the face of the earth is Ibo's going back for Christmas. Not even Velda Beast in the Serengeti has the same number of people moving from one place to another. The largest human migration on the face of the earth are nearly 15 million Igbo people traveling back to go and celebrate Christmas. The largest human movement on the face of this planet. Now they are stranded, no money to go back. Sahara reporters, which are funded by Yoruba people, are saying that Stella Odua did not get MBA. And now they have left her with the bulletproof cars because we stopped them. Now they're saying that Stella Odua did not get her MBA. <laughs> Today we are going to educate Sahara reporters about the list of men in the zoo without any formal qualification, but who are senators, former presidents, masquerading, parading with forged certificates. Sahara reporters should go and investigate those people and leave this woman alone. And today we are going to implicate Sahara reporters in this very grand conspiracy of Yoruba people because they lost out on a 16 billion Naira scam fraud with the airports. That is why they have moved against her. Today we remind Sahara reporters that their duty is to be objective in their news coverage for moving against Stella Odwa. We shall move against them as well. This is Radio Biafra. We are here to protect Biafrans anywhere they are on the face of this earth. How's that Yoruba APC Boko Haram is saying it is their word against ours. APC is not a Muslim party. Of course, they're listening to us. Who said they're not listening to us? Today, the national chairman or spokesperson for APC, Lai Mohammed, has said they're not an Islamic party. They listen to us. We are the only ones attacking them that they're an Islamic party. And now the news in detail. Former Nigerian footballer and Mohammedan soccer coach Emeka Ezugo announced that he has embraced Islam after being inspired by the life of Prophet Muhammad. No wonder being inspired by marriage to a nine-year-old. We shall proceed. Emeka went to a Muslim cleric last week along with his Mohammedan manager, Amirul Islam, his former teammate, Kaiser Hamid. He, the Zaka party leader, Amir Faiz, Faisal, rather, and club official Abu Hassan Prince to convert to Islam. The former footballer who represented Nigeria in the 1994 World Cup after playing for the Mohammedan Sporting Club for nearly a decade said he feels honored to be a follower of the great prophet who he thinks is the greatest among all messengers of God. I am always a curious person and studied different religions. When I found the life of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, very inspiring, he joined them. This is what Emeka told New Age, which is a publication on Monday. Emeka, who has now taken a new name, Mustafa Muhammad, claimed that his family has accepted his decision, though they are all members of Roman Catholic Church. I am a grown-up man. I am free to make my own decisions. None of my family members protested the decision, said Emeka. However, he said that the large number of friends he made in Bangladesh is like his family, and they gave him good support in making the decision. He's in, he's in Bangladesh. A major crisis of confidence has hit the planned national conference following yesterday's insistence of Igbo leaders on a new constitution. Unless 
according to Professor Wabese's led Igbo group leaders of thought, unless they are persuaded, a credibility crisis is imminent for the conference, which is likely to begin before the end of March. The Igbo leaders of thought, after yesterday's meeting in Enugu, rejected the proposal of the Presidential Advisory Committee led by Senator Femi Okurumu, which recommended the amendment of the Constitution. They are also opposed to the proposed selection of delegates on the basis of senatorial zones or federal constituencies. The Igbo leaders at the end of their third meeting also gave an indication that they had initiated an action aimed at reconciling the various factions in the pan Igbo group. The meeting was attended by prominent Igbo elders, including Senator Anyimude, Presidential General, President General of Ohanese Chief, Enwe Egariwe, Archbishop Maxwell, and Ikwenwa, Dr. Ekosileze Wodo, Senator Ofiamwale, Dr. Chuo Kongu, Chief Ben Obumselo, Dr. Dozi Kedife, Mrs. Maria Oko, Chief Enechi Onyam, Mr. Chris Okoye, Elio Tuko, and Igwe Ajawanchuku, among others. These are the Igbo leaders that attended this very function. I don't know how many of them are in the payroll of Hausa Fulani people. The professor himself, Webeze, lives in Lagos. This is Radio Biafra. The, the truth must be spoken at all times. In an interview granted to Sahara TV, this same Sahara TV people, these people laundering the dirty image of Yoruba men and women. We reported this news yesterday, and we shall go into it in detail. This man talked about comparing a Wolowo to Mandela, somebody who has their brain cells intact, who has their understanding and their reasoning faculties intact, is attempting to compare a Wolowo to Mandela. This is what happens when universities are short for a year. They come back and study for two weeks, write exams and graduate. What do you expect? This very man, his name is Odia Ofemun, he was speaking about the world eulogizing over Mandela, about his accomplishments. And in true jealous, riven Yoruba style, has said, why should we be commenting on Mandela's illustrious life when Awolowo could be comparable to him or even surpassed him in terms of accomplishments? This is the same Awolowo that presided over, apart from Pol Pot, Hitler, Pol Pot, the ne and Stalin, the next mass killer is Awolowo, would go on. Awolowo single-handedly a Yoruba man. Yoruba people are responsible for the death of over one million Biafran children. That is why if your husband or your wife is Yoruba, you are in very serious trouble. You are living with a killer of your own kind. They are the ones that killed our people. Over one million children starved to death by Obafemi Awolowo a culmination of which led to his suicide. Awolowo killed himself in 1987. He committed suicide because the demons came to pay him a visit. We shall revisit this very issue this evening. The political crisis in River State took a new turn on Monday as two high court divisions in Ahoda East and Okehi in a Che local government area were hit by bomb explosions and fire, respectively. The two incidents are coming on the heels of a similar explosion that occurred at the premises of the Ahoda High Court under Justice Charles Wale on December the 18, 2013. In Ahoda, eyewitnesses said the impact of the explosion, which occurred at about 2 a.m. on Monday, destroyed the office of the Nigerian Bar Association within the court complex. The Ahoda High Court was expected to hear arguments on the vacation of an order restraining a member of the State House of Assembly, Mr. Evan Bipi, from parading himself as the Speaker of the Assembly. Sources said the court register had noticed two strange objects when he resumed duty at about 8 a.m. and alerted the police. The All Progressives Congress APC controlled House of Representatives has set stiff hurdles for the passage of the 2014 federal government budget, including a comprehensive answer to the 50 questions on the economy presented to the Minister of Finance, Dr. Ngozi Okonji Wala. Elements in the emerging new leadership of the House, who disclosed this yesterday, also said that the 2014 budget must be scrutinized to ensure it meets the felt needs 
of Nigerians. The lawmakers who spoke ahead of next week's resumption of the House of, of Representatives ruled out early passage of the 4.6 trillion budget presented to the House by Okonjo Iwala last December. The occasion of the 100th anniversary of Frederick Lugard's amalgamation of the Northern and Southern Protectorates of Nigeria has reopened discussions about whether that action was a monumental error, one which has led to the entrapment within the same country of ethnicities that would otherwise never have been in union with one another. There is no question that the amalgamation of 1914 was intended to benefit the British. Its goal was solely to reduce colonial administration costs by consolidating the two civil service operations of the Northern and Southern Protectorates into one. Frederick Lugard, the Scottish man, the architect of the amalgamation, was an unapologetic advocate of colonial grandeur and a fervent believer in British imperialism. In order was everything in Africa is like that. That is the meaning of British imperialism, that the white people are superior to black monkeys from Africa. Frederick Lugard was a believer in it. That is why I refer to people from Nigeria as monkeys. That is why Nigeria is a zoo, because Lugard himself is an arch imperialist. They believe in the supremacy of the white race over the black race. So if you believe in Nigeria, indeed you are a monkey for certain. Because a man that believed you are a monkey created you. He made you Nigeria, not God. We must continue. I will repeat, Frederick Luger, the architect of the amalgamation, was an unapologetic advocate of colonial grandeur and a fervent believer in British imperialism. Lugard served as a colonial administrator in Nigeria, Hong Kong, and Uganda, spreading his imperialist ideas and dutifully serving his king wherever he went. Like most of the colonial actors of that period, Lugard was insultingly paternalistic in his book, The Dual Mandate in British Tropical Africa. Lugard likened the virtues and defects of this race type Africans to those of attractive children. That was how he regarded all of you. Those of you that believe in one Nigeria. Lugard said you are like a bunch of playing attractive children. He was playing the role of Jesus Christ. Let the children come around me to play. And that is why we are still playing today. But this time around with human lives. Very costly. We are playing with the future of children. Even those unborn. Anybody calling him or herself a Nigerian is beneath contempt. Does being outside is better than you. You are not a human being and you do not deserve any respect because the man that created you, the man that made you said you are like a bunch of children. You are monkeys. He's an imperialist. He is a racist. He believed that white people are superior to black people. That is why you have that useless name, nigger area, an area full of niggers full of people who cannot reason. That is why you are Nigeria, why you don't have any light, why you don't have any good roads, why your education system is crumbling, why you gave us a Marodiko. That is why you produce the likes of Awolowo. That is why you have the likes of Buhari. You have them Dangote. Feudalism merging with monarchy, merging with republicanism. That is why you cannot move forward until the day you die and they bury you because your life is useless because you're a Nigerian. Passengers going back to their various working places from the eastern part of the zoo. We are stranded in different loading parks in southeast states following a sharp increase in transportation fares. It is called demand and supply. If you go home in large numbers, the only way to regulate those going will be to hike up the fares. It is pure economics, demand and supply. You are going back to where they're going to kill you, where you will be deported from from where you will go as a human being, you come back as a in a coffin. That is why this yearly migration, claiming that celebrating Christmas is nonsensical, foolish, and useless. The largest migration of humanity, the only people that does what evil people do annually are wild animals. Penguins, wilder beasts on the plains of Serengeti, and birds, shekeleke. When it is Hamatan in the north, they fly away and come down to the to 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 far more warmer climes 
that is the way we are behaving like a bunch of marauding animals who cannot reason 15 million people traveling to Igbo land and coming out because of Christmas. Something you know little or nothing about. Of course, the fares will be high. What do you expect? It is called demand and supply. Stella Odua is the Nigeria's Minister of Aviation. Sahara Reporters, funded by Yoruba men, those that lost out because we are not going to read these things, we will tell you what is behind it. Stella Odua is the aviation minister. Stella Odua said no to Yoruba fraud. Yoruba people connived to defraud Nigeria to the tune of 16 billion naira because the issue of the refurbishment of the, of the airports in the zoo came up for discussion and Yoruba has hijacked it. They said they know people that can do the job and they were asked to submit their bill. Yoruba men connived gang up together and submitted a bill of 16 billion naira. Stella Odua, rightfully so, asked another consultancy firm to go and tell her, find out, make discoveries, investigations, and report to her as to the true cost of the refurbishment. They came back with 600 million that they can use six. 100 million to refurbish the airports. The world must get these facts very clear. Why they are hunting Stella Odua down? Stella decided not to give the contract to the Yoruba conglomerate handling this very contract and decided to award it to a small firm that will charge only 600 million. From the day she took that decision, these same men, including Bola Ahmed the Tinubu, including Obasanjo, Fasola has a hand in it. This conglomerate is owned by all powerful Yoruba men and interest groups. They are the ones with newspapers. They own the Punch newspaper. They own Nation. They own the Observer. They are funding Sahara reporters. What do Sahara reporters do? They bought this story. They have stopped chasing Stella Odua on the bulletproof car she bought because we asked them to go and look at Fasola's own two Range Rovers, which are bulletproof. We've asked them to look at Yoruba pastors' private jets. Oyedepo has four private jets, not one, four in his fleet. We asked them to go and look at those. They left that one. They're not just saying, saying um, she hasn't got the school, didn't award her MBA. Well, today we are asking Sahara reporters, have you forgotten Tinubu? Where was Tinubu? Where did Tinubu graduate from? Bola Ahmed, the Tinubu, your financier. Where did he graduate from? You must come and tell us where Tinubu graduated from. You must leave Stella Odua alone. Stella Odua said that Nigeria cannot be defrauded to the tune of 16 billion. That is why Yorubas hate her. And because Yorubas fund and control the media in the zoo, they have turned the minds of very gullible Biafran people into thinking that Stella Odua is a bad woman when in fact she was doing her job. All she did was to look to protect herself by buying a bulletproof car before they kill her off. The same thing that Fashola did. They are not talking about Fashola. The Yoruba dubious criminal media are not talking about Fashola. What they do is to try and twist everything we do upside down. They went and looked at the video I shot at a zoo river. Myself and Arinza Wog, Yoruba people, turned it upside down and said that I was um, intimidating Hausa peasants. Is there on the internet with the video? saying that in the county is intimidating Hausa peasants, Yoruba people, always lying, always duplicitous, always cunning, always looking for a way to outsmart somebody. That's Yoruba for you. Very, very evil people. They are hunting Stella Odua down. They want her to be sacked. A whole punch newspaper wrote in the editorial that Jonathan should start by sacking Stella Odua. And we're saying to Jonathan, if you want to know if we are serious, as some of them have said, oh, we are just talking. We are in London talking. If you want to know how serious we are in that zoo, let them start sack Stella Odua. What will come after them, they will not have seen it in their lives before. Stella Odua is not an identified Biafran, but she is a Biafran by birth. And we have to defend her every inch of the way. The same way we defend Jonathan, the same way we defend Okonji Wala. All of them there, they must be defended. They are mad and insane. Criminals. The same way that Abiola defrauded the country through ITT contract. That was how Abiola became a millionaire. Abiola was not a millionaire. Abiola was a mere subcontractor chasing running from one office to another 
until they falsify the check by adding three zeros behind it. Million became billions and Abiola became a very rich man. That was how Abiola became a rich man. Abiola is evil and a criminal. Have you asked yourself, how did Awolowo become rich? Awolowo became rich by stealing, by cutting deals and by killing children. Do we, everybody not know that? Awolowo, Coca-Cola. Have you forgotten? Awolowo stole money from our people, used it to buy majority shares for Yoruba people in Nestle. They bought the majority shares in Coca-Cola. They bought it in Cadbury's. Have we forgotten? These are Yoruba people. That's the way they behave. They are criminals. They are evil criminals. We must expose them. Today, if you are not sensible enough, you go to Sahara Reporters online, you will think that um, Stella Odua has committed a crime. Stella Odua's car is less than 300 million. Fashola's car is over 600 million in the scheme of things who is a greater criminal they are chasing stella odua because stella odua saved nigeria 15.4 billion that is why they want her yoruba criminals they gang up and they hunt in parks as the cowards they are they will be disgraced one after the other we are warning sahara reporters we are going to go after the individuals within sahara reporters if they don't take their time we go after them one after the other we must go after them so they will know how serious we are. You don't touch our own. Leave Stella Odua alone. Leave Konji Wala alone. Leave Jonathan alone. You must leave them. You have enjoyed the oil too much. You people are insane. The Yoruba people are cowards and are insane. APC spokesman has said that APC, which has its members across the country, cannot afford to imagine any singular religious affiliation. Speaking in a telephone yesterday, Mohammed Lai Mohammed explained that out of the 25 interim National Executive Committee members, 18 are Muslims and 17 are Christians. He warned religious bigots and their official sponsors against setting the country on fire through sponsored religious disharmony. The country is on fire. We want to pour more fuel to it. Petrol, benzene, kerosene, diesel. We pour everything into it so that the nonsense contraption called the Zoological Republic will burn to the ground. I hate Nigeria. God knows I hate it. Anything within Nigeria in it, I despise the person. Nigeria is the creation of Lucifer and must be destroyed completely and totally. This is Radio Biafra. APC, we know, is a Boko Haram party. Why can't Sahara reporters go and do what Radio Biafra did and announce Buhari as the chief sponsor of Boko Haram? Before we did it, did anybody else announce Buhari as the chief sponsor of Boko Haram? The answer is no. We did it. Now they know. Because if you come here, you get the truth. It may sound outlandish to you at first, but go back, give it two, three, four days. It becomes apparent. Today, our own son... He used to be called a Mecca. I have to question who fathered this boy. Maybe the mother was unfaithful to the father. Whoever for this, an Igbo person can... As an Agwo Agagim, we to logo logo. An Igbo person cannot father somebody who will grow up and say, I want to be a Muslim. Something went wrong somewhere and should be investigated. This chap has abandoned the way of his ancestors that has lasted for over 5,000 years to go and join a people, the same people killing his own people. But his name is Zemeka. He has joined them. This is Radio Biafra. Before I go to the barrister who is now with me, in fact, let me go to barrister. Barrister, acknowledge our people before I go to Carol Monday to please commence our analysis this evening. Go ahead. Barrister, thank you, you director. Yeah, I'm here, director. Thank you, and uh, good evening. Good evening to all Pierre friends, wherever you are. Uh, we are, of course, today giving you one of the news and some of the, the news that uh, are not palatable to our hearing, and some of them, of course, we can manage. That our brothers are now gradually turning into Muslim land. I pity them a lot because once Biafra arrives, they may not stay in the land, Biafra land. They have to join those who either follow them or those who are making them to remain Islamic. These we will not tolerate in our own land. And of course, whoever wants to worship Allah should stay in Allah's land and worship Allah. You cannot worship Allah in God's land. Biafra belongs to Chukwa Biyama. Therefore, and that of course, this is the reason why they are burning all the churches in Allah's land. And I don't blame them. If you don't want me to stay in your own land, you are right. 
You are right, you're supposed to worship my own God in my own land. All we ask you, ask the, the Biafrans, ask the Christians to quietly go back to their own lands, stop killing them. This is why we have problem with Muslims. This is why we have problem with the house of Fulani Boko Haram. We are not angry with you because you are asking for nation or you are asking for Sharia law. We are only angry with you because you are killing our people. I don't see the, any reason why killing and Sharia law has to go together. Ask me to leave quietly, even violently. I will leave, but please don't kill me. And take your land and leave my own land. It becomes 50-50. We believe in equity and justice. That is their particular value, Biafrans, stand on. That is our ethics, is our values. But take what belongs to us and give me what belongs to me. Do not trespass, do not encroach my land. But our anger is, you are encroaching my land, you are killing me in your own land, and yet you want to come to my own land. It does not make any sense. Wherever you are, stay where you are, Biafrans. And we will fight this peacefully, violently, to obtain what belongs to the Afrans, because we have never overtaken any land. We have never encroached any land. All we do is our peaceful business. We make money, even where there is no money, we make it. We build houses, even where there is no land, we create one, because that's the gift God gave all of us individually. That is the brain God gave all the Afrans, no matter where we are. Even if we are inside the sea, we create that sea and make it land. These are the gifts given to God by, given to us by God Almighty. To our Biyama, bless us that way. Therefore, no matter what Hausa, Fulani Boko Haram does, they cannot wipe us out in this earth. They can only try as, as they have been trying. Let me take the issue of Sahara. Director, you know the name, Sahara. It belongs to House of Fulani, Yoruba, Boko Haram. They cannot do anything to Stella Udua. They're asking and, and remembering and thinking, investigating whether she has MDA. It doesn't matter. What makes you no qualification? What makes a human being? His personality, what you have inside your head. How many of the presidents have been ruling Nigeria? That's you. Have qualification. How many of them? Babangida, Buhari, all of them. What qualification do they have? Even on bus and join several have been stealing money. Has not got a, a single qualification. Who are you to ask Stella Udua, even if she hasn't even got standard six? She has done what the Yorubans who who for certificates could not could not do. They want how many billions to rebuild Motla Mohammed Airport? Sarah Odua doesn't need to produce any qualification, but she has done it. She saved money for the Jonathan. She made the airport more than what it's supposed to be. She denied the embezzlement from the Yorubas, and now they are calling for her head. They will not succeed. You don't need a single qualification to, to look at Richard Branson. She's the United Kingdom. She is a, a, a multi billionaire. She has no single qualification, what she he is managing. How many of them? Name them. Bill Gates. What qualification has he got? But he is the owner of the world with his computer. What about this guy who died recently? The owner of Apple. What qualifications do they have? In Biafran land, we don't need qualification. As far as you have the brain, that is what we need. Even in this country, Whenever you go to any interview, they will ask you a single qualification. Or they will ask you, what experience have you got? You have qualification, but you can't do a job. Does it make any meaning? We don't need any qualification. Stella Odwa will be there until the Afra comes. She does not need to produce even standard six. It's not required. It's not necessary. It is no longer invoke whatever you have. As far as you have no brain, it does not matter. If you have brain, yes, that is what matters. If you have no brain, your qualification will not take you to anywhere. It doesn't matter. All we require is the brain. Qualification can go to the beam. Director, let me leave you to get Carol Monday to say something. I'm still on the highway. I have not arrived home yet. I'm still on the, on the highway coming all the way from Kent. Director, 
Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. You have done very well. That is the barrister himself. The barrister is on his way back, but he managed to make contact with us. That is the level of dedication we possess. Now, Karamonde, please come in and follow Barrister by telling us what you make of our presentation this very evening from here in London. Um, yes, I'm here. And it's nice to hear the Barrister again. Um, there is many things to touch on, actually. I've gone over quite a few things there. Um, the soccer coach in Mecca going to Islam, inspired by Muhammad. I couldn't believe that when I heard it. What inspired him? Was it the fact that he sat with, with his 12-year-old wife while they cut off the heads of 800 Jews all day long, in a day, 800 heads severed off. Is that what inspired this man? Is the man insane? Has he lost his mind? Is he supposed to be a Barathean man? The, unfortunately, what happens is not about religion. Religion is being used as a tool, and that's what they're doing. And I, uh, it was interesting after reading that article, because a friend of mine, I went out with a friend of mine recently, and he was telling me that his cousins, black, the black people in London, um, they're not um, African at all. They're, well, they could be, they're from the Caribbean, but they're not directly black as well. And they, um, the cousins got involved in the Islam. They were invited in and it was all lovely and everything and they felt welcome and they felt all happy. And then they stayed with it and then they were asked at some point whether they would sever the head of somebody. The boys couldn't believe it. They, that was it, they left. So there comes a point where they have, you know, you're going to have to stand for Islam and and be prepared to sever someone's head off. And I don't think Mecca understands what will happen because this is what's happening in Nigeria. There's people down there that are so that are so inspired by Islam and jihad rules that they will sever your head off. And that's what's happened. We we'll go back to and also on the football and then Brethren's love the football. And I have to say, Brethren's going to be in the World Cup. We're right into FIFA because Brasa has the entitlement to be in the World Cup, not Nigeria. Um, also, you're singling out Stella Dura. You have Fashila, he has his car, Stella has her car, these other qualifications. They're singling her out. They're singling them out for a reason. The same way they're singling out Good Luck Jonathan, because they need for the new role to be maintained. They need APC to win. They never expected Jonathan to be there right now. It wasn't part of the plan. I can't remember, I read it somewhere, somebody passed away, you'd have to tell me director who died, and it ended up that Jonathan was in C. But this is the, 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 it messed up their plan. There's a Baratheon in power currently, even though he has to listen to Nigeria, he is currently in power. And they have to remove him. He's one thing that stands in their way, that and Radio Baratheon, because if it wasn't for Radio Baratheon, there'd be APC in Anambra right now. And APC has to be stopped. You cannot have an Islamic country, the same reason, because they're coming to cut off your head. Unfortunately, that's what's going to happen. It, was a for, it is a form of apartheid. What Lugard did in 1914, he went there is, and he put in a form of apartheid. Because when a minority rules a majority, it is called apartheid. And that is what he did, because the Fulani were not the majority in that country. They were the minority, and they and they put them in power, and they messed about with the seats. I think they gave them a lot more seats because they knew there wasn't enough of them in the parliamentary system. They just made up a seat. It didn't go through the system. It just they just said, "Here, have a few more seats," so it balances it out, so that the minority could rule over the majority. And right now, they're ruling. In a way, they're ruling, and they need and they can be pushed out, and they need to be pushed out. They need to be stopped. The um, Mrs. Lugard's wife, she made up the name Nigeria. If you look at the English language, when you take the, the letters IA and add them to something, IA basically means the place or people of. So you've got a place of people of niggers because that's how the word breaks up. It's unfortunate. I'm English. I mean, this is what they, this is what the British did. They, they went there and they did this. You know, I'm British and I'm saying, and I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm born here, unfortunately. But that's what they did. They they put in these in, in this in this horrible apartheid system because they wanted to rule over you with their imperialism. That's what happened. And it needs to be stopped because whatever can happen in one place can happen in another. I said it the other night on air and I said it again, it's a bit of irony that the one from Mrs. Lugard came from Woolwich and the Uruguay man 
severed off the full of, severed the full of the Fusilier in Woolwich Heights, in the Woolwich Town Centre. Right, but in the in flow of traffic, he stood there and, 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 and got his cutlass and severed the officer. Because what goes around comes around. And what happens that can happen to somebody else is going to happen to someone else. And we need to be able to stop that. The Eurobine media, they can't, I can't believe that. They compared the Woolworth to Mandela. That is an insult. Mandela's family must be feeling so in soy. You know, the, the man of Woolworth committed suicide because of his own guilt, probably. And Mandela died with what? His loving family, the whole world crying because he knew it because he was an amazing man. This is not a Woolworth. There's no, there's no, there's no comparison within a million miles. There's no comparison. A Woolworth was a simple coca farmer that ended up taking so much money from people that he could, that his family can now own Cadbury. That's, that's where it came from. And I want to understand, for people to understand, at the end of the war, this is what, 1970, they took everything, they took whatever property, you know, and they emptied the bank account, they took what property they wanted, and they gave Bratton 20 pounds, a family, I think it is, to start again, 20 pounds. So imagine, I'm like, I'm in my late 40s now, I have my house, I have my bank account, and they come along, and they empty my bank account, and they like this house, so they'll take this land, and then they'll give me 20 pounds. And I've got to start again at my age and, and, and start all over. I've, I've worked all my life. Can you imagine doing that? That's what these people, this is in 1970. This wasn't 100 years ago. I was alive in 1970. This is here now. This is, real, this is in the 19th century. This is, or 20th century. I've got my century mixed up there. It, you've got to understand that we need to be able to stop that because it, it, it's happening again. Barassa has to be released out of Nigeria. There's so many things with Lou God. He was a horrible man. Uh, the video for the houses, you can see it on Brassa television. You know, you can't make your own opinion. I mean, we all listen to broadcasts, and we all know we all know um, Nandi Kanu's personality. And if you actually watch the video, I found it. I found it quite polite, really. After you have to, when you hear him on air, his personality can be quite intimidating. It's not intimidating to anybody. I think that's, that's his general personality. If you listen to it, you, you make up your own opinion. I thought he was he was he was um, very polite that day. So I don't understand how you know how they, you could can twist this in anybody's mind if you actually go back and look at the facts. And that's all we're doing is go back, dissecting it, looking at the facts, and saying, look, hold on, these are the facts. This is what really happened. We have the amalgam. We've gone back, found the amalgamation, and said, right, this is the fact. Let's show our people this is the fact. Again, go back and find the facts for yourself. Look at who's in your government. Look what's happening. Look at the Fulani rule and see what the APC is trying to do now. They can't lose it. The whole of Nigeria will become Islamic. There's no stopping it. Boko Haram is there, ready to cut. They've warned you. They, if you stand in the way, if Good Luck Johnson stands in the way, they will cut people's heads off. And that's what they, you have to be prepared to do in, in Islam. That's what war for them is. They are suicide bombers. They're taking over. Back to you, Thank you very much for that. Thank you for that very insightful thought. And th thank you also for that originality in your presentation. This is Radio Biafra, wherever you are. There are a lot of conflicts going on around the world right now as we speak. Iraq, Afghanistan, even in Sudan, in the zoo itself. If, even those that went by Rwanda, Sierra Leone, all these things. There is one thing, one common denominator. Do you know what that is? The British got involved. That tells you something. Anywhere they went to, there is war, that is killing, that is pillaging. That is one thing I can't fathom. One thing I cannot understand. What did the British actually gain by seeing people suffer? What did they gain by seeing innocent men and women slaughtered? What is their benefit? What is their benefit? I can't understand. All these areas they colonized. What seeds of hatred and retrogression did they sow that has led to the incessant, ceaseless, endless massacre of innocent people? Why? I keep asking myself. Are they being used to punish people? Do God send them? Do God use them to go and punish those that have erred from the path of righteousness? I am very grateful to the message that our dear brother evangelist Lotachuku, who is our coordinator in Norway, sent to me. Of course, we believe in it completely and totally. Chukwa Biyama is our God. Biafra is my religion. 
That is how I worship God. Because God is actually punishing us because we are worshiping foreign gods. I will get our dear brother that gave us a lesson, Rabbi Hi Ben Daniel, to also call in. Please, I'm asking those listening from Israel. I need the contact details of the rabbi that taught us when I came to Israel to broadcast in Tel Aviv. He gave us a lesson. There was a part read in the Bible which I can't find where he said, where God said to Israelites, those gods they are worshipping, leave them to worship them. I gave it to them. You are mine. You worship me. You come to me. Direct. Not through a third party. I am a child of God. And we have sinned. The day of atonement is coming. The same day we are going to protest all over the world. We use it as the day of atonement all over the world. We will present our petition before the Most High, Chukwu Abiyama. We will tell him where we have gone wrong. Of course we know. We sold people. We dabbled into human sacrifice, which is a corruption of our priesthood. We also dabbled into discrimination, what you call Osu, which is an abomination before God. We sold our own kind. That is why the likes of Oprah, the family that gave birth to Michelle Obama, that is how Forrest Whitaker, that is how Freddie Hunter, that is how Blair Underwood ended up in the United States of America. These are all people with Igbo blood in them. Hardcore Igbo people. There is no difference. That is how they went to the United States to live because we sold them. We must ask God for forgiveness. And when Biafra comes, anybody that wants to resettle in Biafra land from the Caribbean areas, be you from Jamaica, from Haiti, be you from the United States of America, anywhere you come from, you'll be entitled to a piece of land in Biafra to build a house free of charge because we must make reparations for the abomination we committed before the sight of the Most High, Chukwabiyama. We have sinned, we have cried, we have died enough. The punishment which he, the Most High rendered to us through Frederick Lugard is here for all to see. And for those who would have said that the conquest of our people was inevitable by Lugard because they had superior weaponry, must also know that the throne in Abyssinia, that Ethiopia never fell to any colonial power. They never fell. The reason why God allowed colonialism to prevail in our land is because of our sinful ways. We had to be taught a lesson. And we've been taught lessons, not just one, not two, not three, not four, for over 100 years. We, we have seriously been damaged as a people. And that is why the time has come for us to go back to where we come from. As in Namdo Lebra, my name is Seku, say, okay, Rulem Benu no Wulajala Atina Kuya. The time has come for us to go home. And home we shall go. This is Radio Biafra. The barrister, I don't know if the barrister is on the way coming. I don't know if he has arrived. I don't know if he's stuck in traffic. But what I do know is that he was able to connect with us. May I please ask if the barrister is there, please, to bring his ever effervescent perspective to what we are discussing this evening, please. Barrister, can you hear me? Yes, sir, director, but you might hear some echo because I plugged it onto the car system. I don't know if you're hearing me. I can hear you loud and clear, and so is the whole world. Okay, um, because I'm trying to make sure that the echo doesn't uh, distort uh, the discussion. Of course, uh, director, from the beginning of the news, I had everything, but uh, going uh, under the tunnel, uh, the line was cutting off, so I did not blast everything that you were talking about. So if you like to give me a little bit of an update, I'll be so grateful because I'm already connected to you. We are discussing this very issue. We are discussing the issue of Stella Odua. We are discussing the damage that God has done to us by delivering us into the hands of our enemies. We are discussing this very fast because for over 100 years we have been killed. We have been pillaged. Our women raped. Our men carted off into slavery. All manner of degradation has been visited upon the children of God. We have suffered. We continue to suffer. We die every blessed day. Nobody asks questions. Our children slaughtered by Awolowo. All our money taken. We are forced to remain in the zoo. They call Nigeria. The whole world connived against us. The US, the British, the Russians, and the Egyptians all came to fight with our enemy to kill us. 
we are still suffering we are in exile barrister we are voluntary slaves abroad we are saying that our afflictions are too numerous to mention to list out all the time but we have taken them to god we have cried we have pleaded with chukwa biyama and in keeping with the scriptures in keeping with the same faith with which the israelites passed through we are asking him to please come to our mercy come to our rescue that his grace must come upon us because we are his children and i believe he has listened to us that was why he determined that we should come we are saying also that the day of the worldwide protest shall be used also as a day of atonement when we shall stand before god to say we have sinned against you we have sold our own kind we have discriminated for god knows we have killed we have done all manner of despicable evil before the sight of god and that he must forgive us that's what we're saying, Barrister. Yeah, thank you, Director, for the update. Uh, I'm sure you're hearing me very well. Loud and clear. Loud and clear. Thank you. Yes, Director, as you have already reiterated, we have done enough, and of course, God has seen that we are struggling and making effort to come out of our sinful nature. And we have made all sorts of promises to Him. For Him to give us the glory so that we can go back, Director, every day we are being killed, every day we are being massacred. Not we have been massacred, director, we are marginalized, jobs denied, positions not offered to be affront. Wherever we are, we've been chased around, we've been policed, we've been hunted and hounded everywhere we are, director. God should see that his people. Director, put it in this way that your son sinned against you. You've forgiven him, you will not like to see your son being, being flogged like the way we are being flogged, killed, harassed all over the all, all over the world. God should see that at least enough is enough, and that's why we are making all strenuous efforts to ensuring that our people should not go back to that slavish mentality. We cannot enslave ourselves as much as we have been enslaved. It's time that we are going home so that we can reorganize our position and make sure that those. Who believe in wicked acts should move the way so that the wrath of God does not come back ever again. Director, as we are struggling seriously to put ourselves together, we have to make sure that all our brothers and sisters are being rescued from the situation they are at the moment. And of course, we are asking to God, dear mother, no matter what we have done, we have repented. And at least for the sake of those, even God himself, he says because of the righteousness of a man, he will rescue his wife. Because of the righteousness of a woman, he will rescue the husband. God should see the heart of those in Radio Biafra, the heart of those who are calling, friends of Biafra, those who, who support Biafra. He should at least, for the sake of those who are repentant, remember, director, in the book of uh, the Bible, when Lot was sent to go to the land of, uh, uh, of Sodom and Gomorrah, when he was there, the angels came, to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, Lord, Lord, Lord was interceding, begging the angel of God, please do not, do not destroy this country. God says, if you can find 500 people who are repented, I will spare the land of Sodom and Gomorrah. They counted until they came to one. God says, if you, if you can find one single individual, I'll spare the, the land of Sodom and Gomorrah. They could not find any. That was why. The reason Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed, and Lot was told, you move away, you and your family. Do not allow anybody to turn back. But God has seen that all of us, here yeah, at Radio Biafra, the friends of Biafra, those who are calling in all, all over the world, those who support Radio Biafra, he has seen our struggle, our repentance, to come back to our land. And we promise, we say, we can never go back to our own ways. That should be enough, Director, for God to see inside our hearts, for he says in the book of uh, uh, Psalms that even before we are born, he knows inside us. God should know. Even the way director talks on a daily basis, at least for the sake of director himself, God should rescue the people of the Afro. These are his words, and God cannot testify against himself because he says he's not a human. For him to lie, he is a spirit. Nobody can say he has seen God. All we are using are the words of his. He is telling us he will do this for us. Let it be a testament that we believe in God and all he will do. We will defeat all our enemies, those who have been standing against, and even his enemies are trying to convert his people into Islam. 
God should not stand by and see his children being converted into worshipping the same God he told us not to worship. It's up to him. God is up to you. If you allow all your people to be enslaved once again, then of course there's nobody to worship you. Director, we have said it. We have mandated it. We want to go home. And with the kind of power we possess, the kind of ability, the strength, the wisdom, our capacity can never be downgraded ever again, Director. We are moving on. Anybody who says Biafra cannot be restored, that person is lying. God himself says he's not a liar. He is not a human being. Therefore, he cannot lie. Director, you know, all our callers, I know that you have not even started calling, making any calls. I told you before, call us, I will meet up with you, and I will, of course, this program with you, and that's what I'm doing. Director, God is our witness. He will testify that he mandated us to bring Biafra once again to worship him in glory, in spirit, in honesty, and in truthfulness. And so that's what we are doing. Thank you. You're a good man. Thank you very much. This is Radio Biafra. And very shortly, we shall be going to the lines because our lines are going mental already. We will take your calls and we will be on air until you have nothing else to tell us. We are here to serve you. This is your radio station. I love it when people say our station. Our station, that's what I love. Our Radio Biafra. Because it belongs to you and not to us. We are here to serve you. We must go to the line to take this call. This is Radio Biafra, the caller on the phone. You will commence by giving us your name and where you are. Yeah, my name is Chijo Kibabuchi. Chijo Kibabuchi, where are you calling from? I'm calling from the land of the zoos. The Zoological Republic. Please go ahead. Y yes, sir. Yeah. Sir, uh, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Please continue. The world is waiting to hear your voice. Go ahead. Can you hear me? Sir, just as I, want, I wonder why our people over here are so afraid to pronounce and declare the land where they come from. I wonder why. And the reason why I see that is that because they have nothing so typical have been done for them to have an approve that, yes, there is hope for them. Some of them are so scared to mention that they are Biafra. You understand? Yes. So I wonder if, if there is anything that could be done at least for them to see that there is proof, there is hope. There is yeah, hope. Of, there, there is hope, of course. There is hope, and yeah. that is what we are doing. That is what Radio Biafra is doing. That is why we need our transmitter where it should be. That is why we are going to broadcast to the world, and that is why we are going to be set free. As Barista said, even God Himself cannot go against His own scriptures. He said, "Turn away from your wicked ways and embrace Me." Once you turn away from your wickedness, turn away from your wicked ways and embrace Me. Behold, I shall restore you to your former glory. That's what we have done. We have done that already. We are not sinning anymore. We are righteous people. We don't cheat. We don't lie. We don't deceive. We don't do anything that we have been asked not to do. Everything we are doing, we are open and forthright about it. Our hands are clean. We are incorruptible, for goodness sake. Incorruptible. Incorruptible. Radio Biafra is. So why won't Biafra come? He's going to come and thank you for your call. That was a caller from the zoo. He recognized he's calling us from the zoo. Nigeria is a zoo because they were created by Frederick Lugard. Even Lugard that created them said to them that they're like little children playing without any care or hope in life. Lugard, in his own words, the mandate, in his own words, people don't have shame. Anybody without shame lacks honor. And any man without honor is not worthy to leave. This is Radio Biafra. Give us your name and where you are. We have a caller on the phone. You are through to the whole world. Please proceed. The caller on the phone, can you hear me? Unbelievable. They are busy listening to their own voices on true. On true. Amazing. This is Radio Biafra. Our Skype line is also open. We shall go to it. On an evening, we are reporting on what is happening to us and as we are reporting it many more uh, things are happening in the zoo it's, uh, it's amazing things are happening in the zoo you will not believe what is happening in the zoo our lines are open we have paid for skype so what is the problem why is it still crashing Uche, you have to tell skype that we have paid them and our line is still crashing the skype line is still crashing we don't understand why that is the case it shouldn't be the case please we must make sure that our Skype is up and running again. The Skype name is Radio Biafra. All one word, Radio Biafra. We have a caller on the line. Your name and where you are, please. 
Can you hear me? The same thing when new people join us and understand they want to hear their own voice before they respond. That is unacceptable. Give us your name and where you are, the caller on Skype. Hello. Yes, your name and where you are. The you is you I'm talking to. Uh, hey, my name is Ovio Good I'm calling from London. From London, please go ahead. Yeah, director evening. Um let me take the issue of Ebeka Ezugo, the footballer that turned to a Muslim. Um, you know, uh, they use that as business. Let me put it that way, because some time ago, years gone by, Aton Zelbe played a trick on all of them when he said he was going to convert to Muslim. And they all gathered, and they were waiting for him because they promised him heaven and hell, and he took what he can take from them. At the end of the day, he didn't show up. So most beer friends who are doing that are doing that out of uh, business, not that they want to be Muslim or they want to start uh, bowing down to whatever gods that they serve. That's on the metal Zugu. So for him, I, I think he's going to run away even because by the time they start hunting him, he will run away after eating the money he has collected from them. Now, because he's a high-profile uh, Muslim person that they've, uh, they've gotten and they've paid him money for that. The second, the concerning uh, Stella Odua, you see, they, they, they are chasing that woman, they keep chasing her, and they keep chasing her. One, the issue of Amotka, she did not order for an Amotka. The person that presented the list to her write security vehicles, and she wrote, approved, please do the needful. They even confirmed it. When the House of Reps went to investigate physically, they went to NCAA warehouse. They saw those cars parked in the NCAA warehouse. The two BM armored cars was parked in NCAA warehouse in Abuja. And Stella said, if I was the one who ordered for this car, it was bought in 2012, why am I not driving it? Everybody shut up. So you can see that there was no tangible thing to hold her on that one. They now went to a certificate that she presented a fake <laughs> MBA certificate. Yoruba. Yoruba. You hey. see, if you chase them from here, they go here. Because of what, he prevented them from committing the best thing they know how to do, which is fraud. Yes. You see? Yeah. So, Before you continue, because since you mentioned it, that there is something I must bring to the attention of our people. Since you mentioned it, because Yorubas are fraudsters, Somebody wrote here on, on text um, via Radio Biafra Line. Please, director, ask Yoruba people who, who created Oluwole, a place where you can forge all manner of documents like visa stamp, certificate, passport, even Obama's signature. Fake yeah, checks. This is according to Mrs. Ogo Anene. Mrs. Yeah. Ogo Anene is very, very intuitive. She's very intelligent, very perceptive. She understood that Yorubas are criminals. Maybe she lives close to them. She's so, writing and uh, asking us from here in London. It, it, if they steal your bank check, if they steal your passport, if they steal anything you have, give it 10 minutes, go to Luale, you will see there to buy back. That's a fact. And they, they, the biggest forgery market in Africa is in yeah. Yoruba land, started by Yoruba. Oluwole is called. That is, there are master forgers and liars. Master forgers. Deceptive, they contribute nothing to the economy of the zoo apart from stealing, lying, conspiring, and looting. And, dro and drugs. Of course, drugs. Now, have you forget or forgotten um, um, land of Shitu, of Shitu Motos? Have you forgotten them? These are arch criminals by masquerading themselves as patriots. These you know, are the people that are know. hunting Stella Odua. This woman has done nothing. Now our people will know the meaning of media. Now Stella Odua, Konji, while even Jonathan will understand that media is important. No, that is why Jonathan is not listening to them because he has done his own private investigation and she has seen that the woman was not capable. She did not do it because what she had, what she has said happened was actually what happened. And uh, the car, the armored car in question was brought in 2012. So if it was bought in 2012 and this 2013, why am I not driving it? Why is it not parked in my house or in my office? Why is it parked in NCAA warehouse since 2012? Which it was imported. 
So the directors in NCAA and all the finance people, they had a hand in that. But because he got exposed, they blamed on the woman. That is correct. Thank you very much, my dear brother. Thank you for that very incisive call and very informative. That is what the barrister himself will say. We learn from our listeners and the listeners of Radio Biafra also learn from us. Even the coordinator's line is also open. Even the coordinator's line is also open. We are going to Skype once again. Give us your name and where you are. This is Radio Biafra. Hello. Yes, your name and where you are. Uh, my name is Dofa Erunia, calling from Malaysia. From Malaysia, you will speak up, please. Your line is very faint. You will speak up, or better still, call us back. We have a caller on the phone. Your name and where you are. This is Radio Biafra, the caller on the phone. You will give me your name, please. Hello, Director. Can you hear me? We can hear you loud and clear. Go ahead. Okay, Director. Uh, this is uh, Tim Agron, Tim from Moscow, Russia, the PRO in Russia. You are the, our PRO in Russia. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Uh, Director, yes, I want to thank you for the good work you are doing for the, for the indigenous people of Biafra worldwide. Yes, Director, I want to, I want to comment on the, on the meeting of, uh, of Anesde. Indeed, the meeting in, in Russia yesterday, they had their meeting yesterday. Director, how we should, we, we should see how the way the way of an SND government is meeting there came out so much. I wonder, I wonder why these people see the way they, they spent a lot of money, they did their measurements, why we are finding money, we are finding somehow difficult for the money for tra our transmitters to, to make, make uh, the other country our way. But these people, I, I wonder the type of these people, many of them, many of them, they were there, they were there making their merriment, eating and drinking and enjoying a feast all this well. I said this to these people. They are they, uh, they have they forgotten that our people are dying back home, that Boko Haram Boko Haram are killing our people back home. They, they we are here yesterday enjoying themselves. Forgetting where they came from and forgetting themselves. Director, I wish I don't know what we should do to these people. Here in Russia, most in Moscow, I don't know director. And secondly, again, I want to appeal to all of them: please, if you all come out in Moscow. We have a lot of Biafrans in Moscow. I, I, I appeal to them to come out and support this struggle. In fact, if 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 Biafrans in Moscow can come out, can come out and support Biafra, it will not take us a long time. We get Biafra. And again, I want to comment on the, this, uh, this uh, non Biafrans that normally call, they will change their names, decide their names. We welcome, we welcome Biafrans to call this our radio station, even non Biafrans. We welcome all their calls. They should never, they should not judge themselves. They should say who they really are. If they are from near us, they are from outside. Let them say where they come from. We'll be happy, we'll be very much glad to receive their call to answer them as the question that arise. And so once again, I want to thank you all, all the members of Radio Biafra, uh Iman Mezi, uh Tarumonde, uh Ingolisia uh Bob. And then goes in Madrid, all over the world, all the Japanese, all over the world, all the kids, all the coordinators, all the players, and the everybody that's making this, uh, all this making this to uh, uh, suffer. Thank you once again, director. Thank you very much, and God bless you. Thank you very much. This is Radio Biafra. I am especially. This is to show that people listen. I called Israel, and people are responding. I don't know where Yosef Ben Israel is listening to us from, but he has written to me to give me Deuteronomy chapter 4, 14 to 20. Deuteronomy chapter 4, 14 to 20. He sent it to me where God spoke, where he gave us his. He said, you are, you are my own. You see, this is what we're saying. When I say I'm a Biafran, people must understand. People must understand. I must read this, please. When all these things, the blessing and the cause, which I have said, oh, I love the Bible sometimes, I must tell you. The Old Testament, oh, the New One. The Old Testament, I love it very much. 
This is our case here, present. My brother, God will bless you. Chukwa Biyama is with you. Chukwa Biyama is with you. They call her on the phone, stay where you are. We are coming to you next. They call her on the phone, stay where you are. We are coming to you. Remain where you are. We are coming to you. When all this, I am now quoting the Holy Scriptures. When all these things, the blessing and the cause which I have set before you come upon you, and you take them to heart, in any of the nations where the Lord your God has dispersed you, including those in Medugri, those in Kanu, those in Kafanchan, those in Sokoto, those in Zamfara, those in Funtua, those in Guzo, including those, unfortunately, who are being deported from Lagos. This is the Lord your God speaking to you. This is Radio Biafra, mind you. We are the children of God. We are the children of the sun. You must understand that. We bring light where there is darkness. So we are not ashamed to say that Biafra will be dedicated to Chukwu Abiyama, given to God as his inheritance. That is why we quote the Bible here. We are, we are. All the time without fear. We are the children of God. We know God is going out of fashion everywhere, but for us, he is number one. We must read the scriptures. When all these things, the blessing and the curse which I have set before you come upon you, and you take them to heart in any of the nation where the Lord your God has dispersed you, and return to the Lord your God, obeying his voice according to all that I am commanding you today, you and your children with your whole heart and with your whole being, the Lord your God will restore your fortunes and will have compassion on you. He will again gather you from all the peoples where the Lord your God has scattered you. Though you may have been dispersed to the farthest corner of the heavens, even from there will the Lord your God gather you. Even from there will he bring you back. You see why we do Radio Biafra? We know what we are doing. This is the promise of God to his children. We hold God against this very verse. That's what he said, not us. This is what he said. Where I have flung you to, those of you in Malaysia, in Thailand, in China, in Japan, in Indonesia, those of you in the Philippines, in Australia, if you're in India, if you're in Cambodia, everywhere you are in the U.S., God said in the scriptures, you are mine. If you return to me with your heart cleansed, not like this idiot that joined um, Islam, not like the al haizi al haji Fatai. As long as we have turned from our wicked ways, this is what the Bible said. That is, you know, when I said before that if there is no Biafra, we know there is no God. This is what he said. His word must come to pass. He said that the heavens and the earth will come to pass, but his word shall remain. This is what he said. And we're holding him to it. Do you see why we're incorruptible? People think we're incorruptible because we're out of choice. We just want to be... No, we are, we, are, we are incorruptible because the scriptures commanded us to be. If you want Biafra, you have to be clean. If you're not clean, Biafra cannot come. Do you see why I was getting get Biafra? Do you see why? They cannot... No other person can. It's in the Bible. Deuteronomy, my brother, God bless you. People are listening to us. I called for it and people, somebody sent it to me immediately. All over the world, you'll be returned to where you come from. That place is called Biafra. That is what Chukwa Biyama said. The most high God. That is what he said. Do this and then you come back to where you come from. I will restore your fortunes. We have a caller on the line. This is Radio Biafra. You will give me your name and where you are, please. Your name and where you are. Yeah, Land. Good evening. My name is Michael Wajago, calling from London. Thank you very much. You're welcome to the program. Uh, Please go ahead. I'm from Abujog in Torunda. Uh, yes. Um, Nandi, um, yesterday, as I was going to work, I was listening to the program about Pataya and his wife and when he put the number down. I didn't call, but I hear that people, there are some people already called and the man was running away from his, from his phone. Um, I'm very happy for that. That is the beginning of a uh, conversation for him. Because I know as long as Tukwadiyama is confined, as long as Tukwadiyama is alive, he will not sit in that place and answer ever in, the, in his holy land. And about our brother, I don't know if our brother anymore, that's Emeka, Emeka Zugo, who formerly played for Super Egos. Uh, he, cannot, he cannot say that he's very poor, unless he's poor. If he's poor, then it is his problem. For them to be global me to their sense of accepting what you know that is not good for you. Eating food that you know that is killing you. Um, 
may God continue to protect our people. I just want to say thank you very much for all the work you have been doing for us and welcome back to the near 2014. Thank you. I thank you for everything. Remember there was a time I said about the Aboki people living in our place. That my one guy from Calabar lived in my place told me what these people are planning. That was 2000, 2011, he told me that. And I begin to see the manifestation of his, uh, his prophecy or his revelation. So uh, we are standing side by side with you. And I will continue to do my best. I am pretty sure to people, some people call me idiot and so many names. I don't care, but I know that somebody along the line will repent and become what you want to be. May God bless you. I will strengthen you. May God continue to bless Biafra. We will get it by his grace. Thank you very much. Thank we shall God. get it because that is what God himself promised. He doesn't go back on his words. After all, he's God. <laughs> so he cannot go back. That is why we must remain incorruptible. Our lines are open if you're joining us for the very first time. This is Radio Biafra Live Transmission. On a day by recap of our headlines, we are bringing to the attention of humanity the injustice the abomination that even those who are broke decide to run to Islam. We've received information that this man is broke, he is poor, and he thought the best way to make money is by abandoning God. The one true God, Chukwa Biyama. This is Radio Biafra. We are here to make sure that our voice is heard. We are here to make sure that indeed there is a country called Biafra. We are here to restore her to her glory. We are here to ensure that the promise of God is kept. We are even here also to hold God to account, to say this is what you said. You must deliver on it. This is Radio Biafra. The caller on Skype will give us his or her name and where they're calling from. Hello? Yes, your name and where you are, please. Yeah, my name is uh, Inhoma Emelide from my house, Zumbise, but I reside in Sweden. You are in Sweden, please go ahead. Hello? Yes, we can hear you, go ahead. We can hear you. What, what is he doing? The caller on Skype, can't you hear me? Yes, good evening, my dear brother. You are on the coordinator's line. Stay where you are. The other person wants to hear his voice before he says anything. This is amazing. Our people don't follow simple instructions. No wonder we lost the war. People don't follow simple, direct instructions. Once you hear my voice, turn your system down or you go away from it. They're not listening. It's sad. Give us your name and where you are, please, the person on the coordinator's line. Hello, Dalet, good evening. Good evening. And where are you calling from? My name is Kadet Anikezia, the connector for Biafra's in Bremen. Biafra in Bremen, you're a good man, please. You're welcome to our program. Go ahead. Thank you. Uh, Director, I want to commend you guys for your unrelentless effort towards the actualization of Biafra. You Thank guys you. are not alone. We are always with you guys in every place towards that manifestation. Yes. That is my youth of ample opportunity to announce our upcoming meeting on the 11th of uh, January, being Saturday at uh, 16 p.m. Yes. I urge every Biafrans and Bremen to attend the meeting. Both old members and new members, they are all cordially invited uh, welcome. That's in Bremen. Yeah, Bremen is in Germany. Bremen is in Germany. Yes, I, I had an excellent time in Bremen. I like Thank the people, especially Obi's family. And I Thank stayed you. with him, Bremen. Yes. So when is the meeting again? At what time is so, it? Uh, the time is the time. The, the meeting is on Saturday, 11th. This is Saturday coming. Three days or four days coming. Yes. And what time? And time 16 p.m. 16 p.m. That is so um, 4, 4 p.m. in the evening. 4 p.m. in the evening. Yeah. Thank you very much. We shall relate that to them. Thank you very very much. We have a caller or callers on Skype. We don't know where they are, but they will tell us. This is Radio Biafra. Give us your name and where you are, please. Please, uh, this is A.K. Chika Chupukadi Biafra from Germany, Castle, but I am now in Holland, in Burma. I'm, I'm here, Amsterdam, Burma, with a group of uh, Biafrans. They call themselves parliamentarian, agree and unagree. So so many of them want to speak to the Radio Biafra because they said they have questions they want to ask direct to Radio Biafra. We are so many here. So I hope um, they will come gradually by gradually. I hope you have patience with us. Thank you very much. So, Thank you. Um, AK, are you still there? I'm still yeah. here, sir. You, you are carrying out the work you have been mandated to do. Yes. That is correct because I asked you to go to, make sure you go to Holland and bring back Biafrans with you. 
and maybe you have some of them with you. That is what we like at Radio Biafra, people that follow instructions. They are here. Yes, go ahead. The first person, give us your name and where you are from. Okay. Okay. Start. Okay. Yeah, um, good evening. Good evening. I am Mr. Eze from Ogidi. Ogidi? Yeah, from Ogidi, yes. Thank you. Uh -huh. So, I have two questions, or three. Go ahead. Yeah, today, this is our first time of um, having a, a member of a, a Biafran a, a campaign committee or whatever who came to us in Amsterdam to tell us much about uh, uh, this um, discussion. Yes. Uh, my question is this. We all, like myself, um, we all know about when the war was fought for the independence of Biafra. Yes. And we really lost the war. Have we addressed why we lost the war? And uh, like now that uh, we are about to uh, start to agitate for sovereign state of Biafra, how are we going to achieve it? Is it by war again or by diplomacy? Third, another question I want to ask. When I listen to you saying um, that about Israel, that God told them that they should worship him not through a third party, I want to say again, because I am of the knowledge that there are some Christian um, uh, denominations who go through third party to ask God what they want. This is my three questions. Yes, thank you very much, my dear brother. I'm very clever as I answer them. First of all, you asked here and said, have we learned from our experience from the war while we lost? The answer to that is emphatically, yes, we have learned. I have studied Biafra for nearly 17 years. So we know why we've lost, why we lost the war and we have corrected those mistakes. We are not going to lose again. That is the answer to your first question. Second question is, are we going to fight? The answer is that all the options are on the table, including fighting as well. We come in peace, we come with diplomacy, but if the option is to fight, we are going to fight and we win. The reason why we lost the war was because we did not secure our armaments on time, we could not foresee what was about to happen, and there was no forward planning. You know, we don't plan. There is no forward planning. The same thing with Ohaneze today. Ohaneze makes his decision based on who is going to bring the next bag of rice or next few coins coming its way. They don't plan ahead. We have planned ahead. We have made provisions. We are not going to run out of arms and ammunition. It won't happen again. If it comes to fighting, we are going to fight, but we come in peace. We are diplomats. Every option is on the table. We want to use the art of persuasion. We, we want to prevail upon them through democratic means to be able to give us Biafra. If they fail, believe you me, we shall fight them and we will win. And coming to your last question, the very third one, you said, people that worship God through third party, it is not for me. People and their personal God is entirely up to you what you want to do. As for me and my household, Tukabiyama will remain my God. Thank you. The next person. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. I'm from Ida. Ndubisi, how come the line was okay before when you came on it, it started wobbling? What is going on? They have to call us back. They must call us back. The line is gone. It is gone. And let us go also to, do we have somebody on? I think we have spoken to them, I believe. We have spoken to them. We must take this call. We need them to call us back. That place is packed. We have a caller on the line. Give us your name and where you are. This is Radio Biafra. The caller on the phone, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, Director. Good evening. Good evening. Your name, please, and where you are. Yeah, this is Richard Steven Aya. I'm calling from China. From China, please go ahead. Yeah, Director. Um, uh, Director, I want to thank you for the good work you are doing for our wonderful people. And I pray may Chukwa Abiyama continue to bless you and guide you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. As I said history we never history we never forget this that you are doing for our people. You know, the greatest mistake that the Aspire Zoological Republic of Nigeria did was sparing the, the life of your life. 
the life of Barisema Mezu, the life of Uchemefo Ikechukwe Nyago, the life of Odenibo, the life of Arenza Wog, the life of Dr. Akujeze Ikechuku Nyago, Clifford Iruanya, Ngozi Mado, Rita Nibuwa, Gutochuku Nungwa, and many more. That was the greatest mistake that they ever did, which they never had the chance to correct again. Now you, Nnam Dekano, the man of the people, the man whom God has used to salvage the people of Biafra. You have now awakened the spirit of biafra in millions of people all over the world. Atemme Chuku Abiyama, Chuku Okike, the Supreme God, continues to strengthen you more in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, sir. I want to tell my people all over the world that this is the time that Chuku Abiyama has assigned for us to go back to our promised land. The land of the rising sun that is flowing in milk and honey. This is the time to restore our dignity. This is the time to restore our identity, our language and culture. This is the time to, to make our past heroes and heroines, our ancestors that fought for this cause. This is the time to make them proud and let them know that their death is not in vain and will never be in vain. And we should not let go of this golden opportunity that have come before us. I said this is the golden opportunity. We should not let it go. Biafra is now or never. And I also want to use this medium to urge our people that is living here in China to come out, let us join hands together and fight for our rights. For those that are waiting for Biafra to be restored before they will come out and declare their biafra -ness. For those that say they are sitting on the fence, that if we restore Biafra, fine. Or if we do not restore Biafra, that there will, be, there, there will still continue to be an inspired product that is called Nigeria. I'm telling them now that they are making a great mistake because this is the time that all that called yourself the Afrans are needed most in this struggle. The director, you, Nandi, you have made it clear to everyone, you have made it known to everybody that it is either you put in your money or you volunteer yourself. I must tell you guys that this struggle needs a lot of money. If we Japanese all over the world can contribute one one pound, I tell you it will go a long way for us to. It's not. It's not until we wait. You wait, or you want to make it hundred pounds or one thousand pounds? No, we have to do all we can to make sure that we take our transmitter home. Our people are dying every day. Our, our mothers are being raped by the house of Our young sisters are being selling their babies. Every day, our people have been brainwashed by the Yoruba media. Our people are being converted to Muslim every day. That is why we need the work of Radio Biafra down home, so that all this nonsense will stop. And through this media, our people's brain will be restored, will be reformed. No other media in this world can do this for us except the work of Radio Biafra. Our director cannot just leave London for Biafra land without being increased or without, without going home with the necessary things that he needs, because we cannot afford to lose you now, Nam Dekano. You are still very important for us, afford to lose you now. Please, my brothers all over the world and sisters, I'm pleading, let us all do all we can to make sure that we send our transmitter home, because this is the time that Chuku Adiyama has said we, dear friends, are going to back to our promised land. And I want to use this opportunity to tell all the Afrans that are living in China that this week on Sunday we'll be having our first meeting uh, in this year. So let us all endeavor to come out and join hands together so that we can actualize our father's land. Thank you, Director, for the work you are doing and may God bless the Afran all. Thank you. Thank you very much. You have spoken very well, very eloquently. Very, very well. You have spoken. We are going home, but we have to go home with something. Our brother asked a question before and said, do you know why we lost the war? Of course we know, because we didn't have materials. We had men, but no materials to prosecute that campaign, to carry it out. That is why we are all over the world now. As you said, I can't go home. I can't lead a team of people home to go and do the work of God and then go there and uh, the materials to do the work will not be there. That will not be very nice. It's not good. We, that is why we need everybody. If you don't volunteer yourself, you volunteer your wallet. One thing must give. And as long as we remain incorruptible, Chukwe Abiyama shall bless us. 
and continue to bless us. I don't know if we have them. Uche for our lines are still troubling. Skype should refund our money. Our Skype is still having problems. They should give us back our money. They took money from us and they're not doing their work properly. Skype should please refund us our money they had. How can this not be working? Chik, okay, you must come back to me with our people in Holland. Come via rapid response. He can't tell Chik okay, how to get through to us. Let him go on rapid response 68. Immediately, please, and be part of us. We have people calling us on the same line. We have those of them calling us, and we must go to take their calls. This is Radio Biafra. It belongs to you. We are here to serve you. I am a mere servant of the people. You own Radio Biafra, so when you call, we pick your calls. We must take it. Give us your name and where you are. The caller on the coordinator's line. This is Radio Biafra. Okay, thank you. My name is Namde Omero, Piero Biafra, in Austria. Thank you, Director, for the opportunity to, that you give to me now. So, and also, I want to thank all the good people of Biafra and the all friends of Biafra all over the world. Uh, thank you, Director, for this. So, so, so I want to use this opportunity to to tell all your friends in Austria that uh, that this time the time they should come out and join this uh, resurrection of Biafra because uh, we don't have no we don't have no time again to wait. We are going home. We are going home. We are tired of all evil that is going on in our place. And uh, we cannot stop all this with Nigeria. It's impossible. But with Biafra, it's possible. All this evil that is going on in our land is not the way of our life. Baby factory, Islamization of our people, killing babies, and evil. If our people clean our people in the northern Nigeria, it's too much. I think this is the best time for us to go home and uh, make uh, keep make our place to a better place for our future, our our children, our, and our children children. Because nobody will do this for us. Is we Biafra have to do it. So I'm taking this opportunity to ask every Biafra. It's in Salzburg, in uh, Rinz, in Gra in Eastbrook, in Grand Kingford. They should come. We are having our meeting here in Vienna next week, coming up uh, this Saturday uh, by 6 p.m. in uh, uh, Neuri Kenfield Strasse 52. Uh, 16 district and uh, uh, boutique Amanda Ube no shop. A lot of people in Vienna know the knows the shop. So we are having our meeting there, and uh, we are welcoming all the new members. They should also come and uh, join us because in the vice now, uh, so I, I think when you when everybody when we come together and uh, join hand, I think it will be easy for us because we have a lot of things to do to restore our land. For example, we, Austria, we have so many, and we have our, our, our monetary contribution, which every Austria, we must, we must make it. We have to pay 500 pounds every month. But when we come together and join hand together, I think we know it will not be too much. I believe, I believe when we come in mass, we even we can do more than 5, 000, 5, uh, 500 pounds pounds every month but we need and even when we, we contribute 10 10 pounds 10 10 euro or 20, 20 euro every month is it's not much but when we come together and join hand together i think it will not be so difficult for us to do it so please it's for our good it's for our future it's for our children thank you director for your good work and i talk all the radio the radio biafra uh, board member for their good work and i wish all their friends in all over the world for, i thank them for their good work and i wish them happy and uh, be okay and the god will be with us thank amen. you thank you amen. thank you very much thank you so very well chick are you back with me yeah please we can hear you 
Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Who is the next person? Okay, please, the next person, please go. Yeah, good afternoon. Good, uh, good evening. My name is uh, Leonard D.C. Ojala from Umo Bomi, Idato, South Ipo State, Nigeria. Please, my question, my question is this. Uh, I'm a supporter of Biafra and I want us to have our independence according to the law that we have merited now. I'm asking now, if there is any eventuality of refusal of a legitimate right from Nigerian so-called Nigerian world, is there any preparation for any necessary effort to uh, reclaim our freedom, such as, as we don't have uh, many of facilities that is needed beforehand? So what is that to our people here and outside, so that whenever we are going home for this fight, We'll be able to fight it to the full. Thank you. Thank you very much. I will answer your question. Your question is a very intelligent one. Yeah, the United Nations, the United Nations gave us the mandate yeah, to go and look for Biafra. United Nations gave us the mandate to go and look for Biafra, and that is what we are doing. In 2007, you have right as indigenous people, you have the inalienable right which means that you have the right above every other right to be free as a people. I expect Chika AK to be able to direct you to United Nations website where you can go and read about your rights as somebody who is an indigen of a particular place, and that place is called Biafra. Now, you people are in Holland. Ask yourselves in Holland. People say, what preparations are you making? That is why Chika is there to tell you what you can do as part of that preparation everybody has to be part of it including you people today in holland that is why chica is with you that is why i sent him to you and that is why he's there so you have a role to play i cannot give you our secret on the air there are things we are doing and very soon no result things will happen so we are going to get biafra in truth and in honesty Nobody has ever done this before. And because our hands are clean. Please, go ahead, the next person. Yes, my name is Oli Keze. I'm also speaking from Holland. Hello. Go ahead, go ahead. we're listening. The world is yes, listening to you. Yes, as a child, I witnessed the civil war. And uh, I know the, bitter, the bitterness of it. And uh, his experience, I wouldn't want uh, us to go back to again. And uh, with the amalgamation of Nigeria collapsing on the 31st of, uh, of December uh, 2013, which gives us rights, if we wish, to get our own country of our own, that is Biafra. Now, my question now to you is that... Uh, we fought this war as the uh, Eastern Nigeria, which comprises the East Central States and then the South, the South, the South, South, South. And uh, I know because I've read uh, certain uh, articles in the in the in the in the internet. I was asking uh, people uh, people from Middle Belt. They were clamoring if there is going to be anything that is going to be Biafra. They would like to be incorporated into Biafra. What do you have to say about this? Um, Biafra is open to everybody. Biafra is, as the name implies, Biake Fanye, come and be part of this wonderful family. Yeah. That, is why, that is why we never went to war with anybody. That is why we never conquered anybody. Those claiming that we are domineering, those that are Wolo would lied to, these conspiratorial, duplicitous criminals called the Yorubas. Did we conquer anybody? The answer is no. Yorubas, did the Yorubas conquer anybody? The answer is yes, had an empire. Did Fulanis conquer houses and did houses then help to conquer the thieves and other people around them? The answer is yes. We are the only people who are not warmongers. Only us. No other people. We are together. The Biafra we are seeking is the Biafra of Ojuku and beyond the beyond meaning that the people of idoma because in idoma they have four market days no one has ever told me why people of idoma have four market days if they do then they must be related to us in one way or the other 
That is why we leave the door open for Idoma people. They will have a referendum to decide if they want to be part of Biafra or not. The same way we will allow each and every ethnic component to decide. Ijo people will decide if they want to be part of Biafra. People of Ishekiri will decide. Urobo will decide. People of Efi and Ibibio will decide. If people from Oron and Anang want to be treated separately, they can also decide. We are not forcing anybody at all. And we also have to decide. But we are saying that our boundary starts from Iwakere, which they rename to Ebanke. Ebanke it starts from all the way to Ibubo, Izibo land. Uh, the next person, please. Chica, can you hear me? No, we have lost them. It seems, have we lost them? We may have this. This Skype is not working. Uche, they must refund us the money. It's not working. Chica, can you hear me? No, they can't. They cannot hear me. But it's, I'm getting static from the line to say the line is active, but they cannot hear me. Something is happening, and I don't like it. Whatever it is that is happening, I do not like it. This is Radio Biafra. They must come back to us. And our lines are open as well. Our lines are open, please. If you're joining us for the very first time, the number to call is plus 447831308376. Those are the numbers to call. And also the um, coordinators line is also open. Or maybe you can come back to us via the coordinators line. That would be highly appreciated. This is Radio Biafra. If you're joining us, our lines are open. The barrister was with me before, and I hope he has made it and he shall return to me. Barrister Mamezu will come back to me. I don't know what is happening because for some reason, all our system seems to be short. They keep attacking us all the, can all the time anyway. It could be an attack. This person is writing from 62. Where is 62? The code 62. Could that be in that's Indonesia, isn't it? I thank you, people. Um, of the executive of Biafra, especially in Biafra land, called the Zoological Nigeria. Please, I'm not afraid of death anymore. I'm ready to die for Biafra. Thank you. But your name is not here. We need to know your name before you volunteer yourself to us. We need to know your name. Those of them are people meeting in Cologne. Yes, on Saturday, the 11th of January, this very year, this very month, the time is 6 o'clock. Also, those of them in Cologne are meeting as well. Um, in the place called, I don't know how to pronounce it, is, Vich, is it Vichheimer or whatever street? Vichheimer Street, I think it's called. I don't quite know, but I think that's the name of it. Let us go to the line to take this call, please. We don't know what is happening to our, maybe it's the, the internet is, um, connectivity is wobbling a bit. Maybe they're attacking it. Give us your name and where you are. The caller on the phone. This is Radio Biafra. Can you hear me? The caller on the phone. Can you hear me? We have a caller on the phone. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you now. I don't know what on this earth is going on. Please give us your name and where you are. Okay, my name is Philip Odialo. I'm from Omoakuli, but I live in India, Nigeria. Yeah, please go ahead and raise your voice for me, please. Go ahead, raise your voice. Okay, uh, in a nutshell. I want to thank you people for the good work we are doing. Actually, I've been listening to this video for over um, three weeks now, and I am so impressed by the information you people are giving us. We are so much uh, educated by your broadcast. But uh, I, I would like to know if um, the plan group is really existing in New Delhi, India. If he does this, uh, help me to uh, call on the director or the coordinator of New Delhi to let us know how that is being organized. Thank you. Thank you very much. We have your number. Let me see if your number, I think, no, your number is showing a UK number. So we don't have it. What, uh, do, you, do you have access to Facebook? Are you on Facebook? Yes. Uh, yeah, go to Facebook and type in Beer Friends in India. Biafrans, you know the way you search for your friends, go and type in Biafrans in India, okay? Okay. And you find them there. Okay. Thank you very much. At least he is looking for his own people. We must go to the other line. We must go to the coordinator's line and see who is there. This is Radio Biafra. Heaven knows what Skype is doing. I have no idea. Give us your name and where you are. This is Radio Biafra. Good evening. Good evening. 
as a candidate, a candidate is here from Bremen, the coordinator from Bremen. I have not finished my announcement. Oh, please, sorry about that. Go ahead. Okay, I just want to um, announce the 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 venue. The venue is a Hutinga Cultural Center. That is a Hutinga Cultural Center. I'm as four thousand and number eight. Uh, if you are coming from uh, Bremen Metro train station, you take a Sazembon one. Then this Sazembon one will take you down to Roland Center. That's the end of the this, uh, tra train. Then there you take a bus. 57 or 58 and stop at the bus stop, Delta bus stop. Then when you reach there, call this number for more for further directives. 01521-3154731. I repeat it again. 01521-3154731. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Thank you. That was very direct. This is Radio Biafra. We must go to the line to take this other call as we are with the barrister to please try and rejoin us. You will start by giving us your name and where you are, please. Your name and where you are. This is Radio Biafra. Can you hear me? The caller is not paying attention. Is not paying attention, please. The caller on the phone, can you hear me? Yeah, good evening. Good evening. Turn your system down. I don't know why people do that all the time. When you hear my voice, you must turn your system down. Give us your name and where um, you are, please. I'm very, very sorry. I'm Okola for George once again from uh, Paris, France. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I just want to say we congratulations to all of us because we are making progress. We are moving forward. I just want to quickly took uh, this uh, comparison between uh, uh, World of War and uh, Mandela Nelson. You know, uh, 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 a fool, when you say somebody is a fool, and people don't understand, a fool is a one who doesn't know, who don't know, and he don't know that he don't know. Is what makes a fool. Uh, every, uh, every Yoruba, every Yoruba person, I hate them, every Yoruba person is a fool. Why? Because if a Yoruba man can stand and compare Nelson Mandela and the Awolo, I, I, I don't just know. If not just because of the respect of Nelson Mandela, we, the black, all the whole Africa, at least you could have been, all the whole white people could have been throwing banana off to us to be, you know, to be catching on the street. Only just because they respect the heart of Mandela and uh, some uh, uh, the African heroes. Somebody will just uh, stand up and begin to compare Nelson Mandela and the uh, Awolo. Did Awolo die the way Nelson Mandela died? The, the question is no. He committed suicide. Awolo killed himself. He committed suicide yeah. like the coward yeah. is. Yeah. The, the, how many people? How many people come for the barrier? How many what? Uh, top official come for the better. So that one is uh, then. So uh, another, uh, another one I don't want to go and uh, you know uh, our barrister our barrister said uh, uh, as he said our our God is a, a, a merciful God and we have vowed to him that we have um, offended him. Our lands are unclean and we are making vow unto him that as long as we we get the Biafra, as long as he gave us the Biafra. We are going to make sacrifice for him. That's another one. So uh, this house uh, full and Boko Haram of Yoruba of came to us, took our uh, our things, took our oil, took our money, and now they are using our money, our material, our our substance against us. Okay. So now uh, look. What happened between uh, uh, Stella, our sister Stella Odia, and uh, uh, and the uh, and the Yoruba? Because you, you, he refused to give them money to to the, uh, the, the, the the what you guys call it the maintenance of uh, international uh, airport, Muhammad International Airport. Okay, just because we are calling, they are calling them, calling her name. You are this slow, you are that, and uh, you don't want to. You don't have a M MBA, you don't have a so 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 and that. Just because you did not uh, agree on their own uh, 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 agreement. So this is the area that I just want to uh, say we should talk to Jonathan. So this is the time Jonathan have to open his eye and make sure 
he know that these people are not planning good for him. They just not want to get him and eliminate him. And this is the time that we, we, we don't want the things like that to happen. So, director, I, I will not wait more time. I will give other people time to speak. That is my opinion. Thank you. Thank you very much. You have spoken very well. You have spoken very, very well. Let us go to Skype line. It seems he's back on again. I don't know what is happening to this thing. It's, it's just amazing. Simply amazing. I don't know what is going on with it. And I hope that this thing is rectified as quickly as possible. I don't know what on earth is wrong with it. It's not working very fine at all. The network keeps cutting, or the signal keeps cutting. I don't know why. Give us your name and where you are. The caller via the Skype line meant for coordinators. This is Radio Biafra. Yes, uh, good morning, uh, director. This is Christian Wosu. Yes, go ahead. Yes, just a quick one for the caller from India. There, our brother who called from India to locate us. Uh, if he's hearing, please, uh, if he's still listening, uh, uh, due to the uh, problem which we are still trying to sort as regards uh, the Facebook, uh, double Facebook, which uh, one other imposter registered. We are working on that. So he will not go and uh, join that one if I venture. So, uh, brother, if you are listening to us, or if you are still on, uh, hooked up to the program, call this number, double nine seven one zero one nine seven three four. I repeat it, double nine seven one zero one nine seven three four. You call this number, you can be able to get us through. Have a nice time. Thank Good you nice very time. much, and we hope that he is listening, and also that... Um, the people in Holland are also listening because we want to take their calls. We want them to try and be part of what we are doing. We want them to be part of what we are doing. Let us go to the line. Give us your name and where you are. The caller on the phone line. This is Radio Biafra. Good evening, man. This is uh, George calling from Dusseldorf, Germany. Please go ahead. Uh, Ma'am, thank you very much for the work you're doing. Um, I want to say that you should, you must not stop because you've given uh, a lot of us here in Europe an um, uh, opportunity to identify ourselves, to find, to recover who we are, to be able to find out exactly who we are. A lot of us, we are lost up until this moment. I was born shortly after the Civil War, and um, the whole suffering which I've known to date I've kind of taken it as uh, something usual. The kind of life that uh, I was living with. And uh, so many of us are just like that. And this thing to really be a friend gives another meaning into our life, another hope that we are human beings. So thank you very much. Uh, I want to also use this opportunity to announce that uh, we are meeting for our group here in Dusseldorf and surroundings, Dusseldorf, Duisburg, and Mutchingladbach. We are meeting on Sunday by 5 o'clock. Please, whoever is listening, we are meeting by 5 o'clock in Greenland Restaurant. That is in Kona Strasse, Kona Strasse number 284, in Greenland Restaurant. Thank you very much. And please keep up the good work. Tukwabiyama will bless you abundantly. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Thank you. This is Radio Biafra. We are going back to Holland. Okay. Chika, can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can hear you, Director. So somebody uh, want to continue with his question. Yes, please go ahead. Yes, I'm back again. Olikezi is my name, like I mentioned earlier. Yes. Yes, um, something baffles me. You know, uh, this is uh, a follow-up question uh, because... Uh, uh, Mr. President, good luck, Jonathan. I don't know why the Hausa and the Yorubas are kicking and, and disturbing his government. I don't know why they do not want, want to give him a piece of chance to rule Nigeria. Is it destined that Hausa and the, the Yorubas must, must rule Nigeria or any other person from any other ethnic group? We know rule Nigeria. Yes, it is destined because it was given to them by the British. The British determined that the house of Fulani people will rule Nigeria in perpetuity. And when they feel like it, they can give it to Yorubas. 
to massage. But mind you, only two Yoruba men rejects from their race. Shonekon and Obasanjo. Shonekon wasn't even up to six months. Obasanjo and Shonekon has ever tested that very seat. Whereas for ourselves, it is only Agu Yironsi was only there for six months and he was killed. The country belongs to Hausa Fulani people. Our people that claim they went to school and they can read should go and see what the Sadwana of Sokoto said. This is the estate of their fathers. They're going to deep Quran in the Atlantic Ocean on our side. And that's what they're doing. Only idiots and imbeciles cannot understand that. Only those fathered by Hausa Fulani men cannot understand that we are under siege and that we are drowning and that the Hausa Fulani Islamic Boko Haram, they are out to kill you and they will kill you unless we stop them by getting Biafra. Biafra is the boundary that will save us from destruction as a race or else we are all dead. Okay, okay hold on. Hello? Yes. Yeah, please. I'm Mr. Eze again uh, from the same place. So my second question is uh, when I listened uh, to you, when you were talking about Emeka Ezugo, who, whom you told us on the air that he has converted to Muslim, um, it didn't go down very well with me the way you are expressing your own view. Because, you know, this is air. This is uh, you are on air and a lot of people are listening and um, to my own mind, I know that Emeka Ezugo is not the only Muslim man in, in, uh, in, uh, in uh, Eastern Nigeria or Biafra to be. And also, the world are listening to you, even those that are going to help us. Are you saying that Biafra will be a Christian, exclusively Christian state? And if it should be Christian state, what are we going to do with our brothers and sisters who have been converted to Muslims? They will go and live in the north. They will go and live with Hausa Fulani people. Simple. We are not tampering with people's faith. You must get this very clear. I must make this very, very clear so that you understand what I'm saying. Make it very, very clear so you understand. We are the children of God. We are not building any Christian republic. We are not. I am a Biafran. I am not a Christian. My faith is Biafra in Chukwa Biyama, the maker of the heavens and the earth. I don't need any third party to pray for me. I go to God direct. That is what he said in the book of Deuteronomy. He asked me to pray to him direct. I have the evidence that he made me. I was circumcised on the eighth day after I was born, according to the same scriptural edict given to the children of God that reside in the desert, those you call Israel today. It is the same thing on the eighth day. You are circumcised, signifying your closeness to God, that you are his own children. What we are making very clear is that who you decide to worship is entirely up to you. But for Biafra, Biafra belongs to God. If you want to worship Satan, that's entirely your business and your prerogative. We are going back from whence we came. Every other thing is a foreign God. Every other thing is a foreign God. It is long up to you, as we say. And again, it's up to you and your God who you want to worship as for me and my household. As famously said by Joshua in the scriptures, we shall worship the Lord, we shall worship Chukwa Biyama. I don't know if that's still there. Chika, can you hear me? Please, direct another person is on there. Please, go on. Please. Uh -huh. I'm, coming from I'm, coming, I'm still calling from uh, Amsterdam. And what is your name? My name is Emeka Chukwode. Can they stop making noise because the world is listening? This is a live broadcast. So if this uh, Biafra is secured, where will the capital be? The headquarters will be at Enugu. The same headquarters that people died for. It Thank will be at much. Enugu. Thank you. Enugu, yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, Director, I think it should be enough. Uh, uh, you people should continue the broadcast. I don't think there's need to ask every other person. Okay. okay, thank you very much. Continue what you're doing. These are some of the doubting Thomases, but in time they shall be turned around. We know that Holland is going to be very difficult because there, India hemp is very, very cheap, and you have naked women behind glass doors and windows. You can walk on the street and look at them, and as you're smoking India hemp. So their life is very cheap. And you cannot expect them to turn around very easily. This is Radio Biafra. We are going to the line. We have a caller on the studio line. Give us your name and where you are. We are Radio Biafra. 
Yeah, hello, uh, Mr. Director. Yes. Uh, good evening, good evening. I'm still uh, Mr. Chukwu Maka Benedict Ojukwu uh, from, uh, from France. Um, I am just calling because um, I just want to clarify something. You know, uh, because apparently I'm just driving off uh, and I cannot uh, afford to to miss um, uh, listening to Radio Biafra. And uh, uh, what I want to uh, rectify just uh, what uh, the other caller from from Holland from Holland uh, what he said that uh, good luck, Jonathan, the president of uh, Zoo at this moment. Uh, they should leave him alone, and uh, you said uh, that uh, the the house have been ruling because the the white gave them Nigeria. That is their country. It is their country. We don't belong to that country. They might have right to rule their country. That's what we are asking. Rule their country and let us stay on our own. We don't need you. After all, that country is not one country because I cannot see anywhere in any country of this world, in this world, I can I have never seen or come across any country which you will find some states having their own law different. When you go to northern state of Nigeria, the zoo, you find out that the, the Sharia law is governing them. Sharia, Sharia law. In a country, they call themselves a democratic country. In some of the countries, they have another laws there. These people, they cannot abide in the law, national law. They have made their own law. And I have not seen in a country by which only small group of armed robbers, terrorists, will hold the whole country under ransom. And nobody is doing anything. Nigeria is who? They have military, they have every equipment, they have everything it takes to fight. It's yet. These hoodlums over there call themselves Boko Haram. They keep, they keep on sterilizing the whole nation. They call themselves Giant of Africa. Which kind of Giant of Africa are they calling themselves? We don't belong in this the Giant of Africa. Jaffa is the Giant of Africa. We are the Jaffa, the Giant of Africa. When we talk about Giant of Africa, it's Jaffa land. Go to Aba, go to no, we, you will see everything. There is no motor pass that you will find that is not being uh, fabricated in, in, in all those places. We have everything it takes to be the giant of Africa, not the zoo. Then what am I saying? Um, the, the advice I want to give to uh, good luck, Jonathan, the president, Mr. President of the zoos, of the monkeys, eh, is he should do everything, everything possible, everything possible to give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and to God what belongs to God. There's no way you will have Caesar material and God's material. This also concise generation will have nothing to do with them. Sorry, I am tired of this country called Zhu. The Zhu. Zoo is meant for animals, for monkeys. What is good for them to eat is banana. To eat, you know, vegetables like the grasses. That is what is good for them. We cannot afford to live in that kind of climate, in that kind of circumstance. We cannot, we are above that. We are giant. A giant, if you are a giant, when you wake up in the morning, you walk like a giant. You talk like a giant. You do everything like a giant. Biafra is giant. But they have subdued us to nothing. It is time for us to wake up. Every Biafra. I have been telephoning to Nigeria this evening. This evening I called the, all the people I know in Nigeria. I was telling them it is time to wake up. We might not leave you before there. But what we are doing is to make let the people know that we are up to something. There are many millions of Biafra all over the whole world. And even the gate of, gate of hell shall not prevail us when we will come up. Because we have meant it this time around. And what am I saying? Jonathan, good luck. 
it is time. It is time to give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and give to God what belongs to God. And what belongs to God is Jaffa. And we are going to take it by force. So let anyone that is saying that uh, uh, why is it that outside and they are ruling their own country. The platform, they kept quiet. They were so, they subdued. They were living under bondage. But it is time we should tell them let message go to good luck and tell the outside the pharaohs that God said let my people go. It is time. Let my people go. And God, we, we, we do what we have in his heart. But the Bible said that, that, that Bible said that God sent Moses to go and tell Pharaoh, Pharaoh, let my people go. And at the same time, God had in his heart for him to destroy him because God wanted to destroy him, Pharaoh. He had in his heart. That is what I think that these people, they are going to do. God will harden their heart for them to be destroyed because they will be destroyed. Definitely and absolutely they will be destroyed. Come with me. They are destroyed people. They are fellow people, they are, they are people, even the, the people said they, they call themselves a, 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 a dead body among the living. They are the dead bodies among the living. They are already gone because God has weighed their balance, their 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 weight on the balance, but they are weighing zero. It is time. The time has come, and therefore we excel. That is what I want to say, Mr. Director. Thank you very much. You have spoken very well. You have spoken very well. This is Radio Biafra. After Barrister Mamezu, we shall ask them in Britain. Why don't you allow a part of your country to come under Sharia Islamic law? The same thing you wish for us. Why don't you allow it in your own country a little bit? Let us use uh, maybe East Anglia and introduce Sharia law in East Anglia and then see what happens. That is the nonsense they want us to live in. Barrister, are you with me? Barrister, man, Mezu, are you with me? Yes, Director, I'm here listening carefully. Please go ahead. Yes, Director, as I say, um, the responses we get on a daily basis is very encouraging. Our people are coming out from the woodworks. Everybody is taking in the news. And, of course, they realize that, that we cannot get Biafra single-handedly. It requires the effort of everybody, coordinators, volunteers, friends of Biafra, those who have the interest of Biafrans at heart. That is what it requires. All the questions coming to you from Bremenham, you, you gave it absolute handshaking. You did not hesitate in, 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 in giving your answers, and the answers are endorsed, Director. I approve of it, because you don't make mistakes when you give answers. You don't, you don't prevaricate. You give answers as you preach and as you talk. The Afrans should stand up. They should wake up. They should jump up and pick what belongs to them. They should not wait, because the longer we wait, the, the more our people are being converted, because they made it so dangerously that our people run out of money, and then they go looking for the money in the hands of the Muslims. And that is the dangerous part. That is why our transmitter is going home. It will pull us from the upper land, so that our people we know what is their right what they're supposed to do and what they're supposed not to do. My last brother was saying to you, the way you put it on the air and the way you put it, Biafra is a Christian world. It's not Muslim. We cannot shy away from that. Angola have said that they, are, they don't want any Muslim in their land. They have taken off every mosque because wherever Muslims exist, there is trouble. There is inhumane treatment. There is killing. There is beheading. You can never welcome atrocity in your land. And Biafra will not. Why would my brother ask that question, saying that the way you put in it does he mean that because this guy, a maker, whatever his name is, joined a Muslim, that uh, you, the, he, of course, everybody has the right to join any faith they want to join. You want to become Muslim, fine. You want to become Islam, fine. Whatever you want to belong. 
go and practice it the headquarters of where he originated from. In Biafra land, is Christianity. Once Biafra is restored, we will not tolerate anything Islam. Because anything Muslim brings destruction. It brings killing. It brings all sorts of evil. And we will not tolerate it in, the, in our land. Whether you like it or not, we are not shying away from what we are talking about. What we say here, we mean it. And anything we say on Radio Biafra, that is what we will practice. The reasons are obvious all over the place. There are burning churches in the north, killing our people. Why should we be afraid Tell anybody, the whole world, how we feel it and the way we want it? It's our land. Here is a secular society. But they have one central values that nobody will ever dilute. In America, the same. They have one set value that nobody will dilute. They are not killing anybody. They are not beheading anybody. Why should that be practiced? In what they call a secular society, of course, we know we are governed by the Sharia law. We will not take it in the African land. These are the reasons why we want to move away from that land. Because we are not being favored, we are not being looked after. We are killed every day, women, children, even unborn children. And yet some of our people don't, they don't grasp it. They don't understand it. They don't know how it's working. As far as you give them money, that is fine. Any other body can stand by and watch. Director here on Radio Biafra, we will make sure that Biafra is restored. We cannot spare it. They are talking about Sen Lodua. What about Bankole? This guy was charged of billions. Of course, Godfather is there. There's uh, 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 Obasanjo, who will steal and cover. So any of his brother or sister that steals, they'll cover them. They will not touch anyone who stole Kudokinapan. He's a Biafra. He's our man. He did not notice us on time. Now that he did, he will not make any of the past mistakes he made. By sacking some of our our brothers and sisters, he did not realize that Ultimate, who was the chief of uh, of statistics and census, they told him that this guy has violated and he sacked anywhere they put him. Who is in charge? On you are in charge, not not the houses, not the Europeans. So, director, what we preach here is what we come to practice in the Afra land. Thank you. Thank you very much. We we don't say one thing and do another. Everything we tell you is what we're going to practice. Biafra land belongs to Chukwa Biyama. As simple as that. This is Radio Biafra, your name and where you are. The caller on the phone, if you're still with us. Hello, good evening, Director. Good evening. This is Clementina. Yes, Clementina. From, Manchester, from Manchester, is that correct? Yes, sir. Please go, go ahead. ahead sir. Go ahead, go ahead. So I just want to tell you, whatever you are doing, it takes the grace of God. Because every day, the way you scream, the way you talk, the way you shout, with the wisdom that God has placed in your life, it is not man that placed you there. It is God himself. I just want to tell you, thank you. And thank you, Karamonde, Rita, Ngozi, and Barista himself. You all are doing a great job. Thank you, sir. Thank you very Please much. Thank use this avenue to remind our fellow Biafrans in Manchester that our meeting is coming up this Friday once again. I am begging you guys to come up. Stop sitting down waiting for who we cook the food for you to go and eat. You have to cook the food yourself. Please, my fellow Biafrans, don't say it is not going to be possible. If other countries are calling, other people are fighting. I don't know what is keeping us behind. Who are you waiting for to go and build your father's house for you? You have to build it yourself. I am begging you guys once again, come out. We are meeting this Friday by five o'clock at Manchester Central Fire Station in the hall room. It's very close, a walking distance from the Piccadilly Station along Old Dam Road. You can call on this number, 078-274-34649. If you call this number, our coordinator here in Manchester or the PRO will get to you and give you the direction properly. I am begging you, come out. Because tomorrow your children will ask you, Daddy, you are a lazy man. When people are fighting for your land, what are you doing? Mommy, if daddy says he will not go, why didn't you join this fight? To give us back our dignity, because our dignity has been stolen from us. We don't have identity. 
Me, every day I look at my children, I want to give them an identity if I'm no more tomorrow. This is the time to start preparing that identity for them. If director, we abandon everything, even the barista, everyone abandoning their stuff, running for this race, I don't know what is wrong with us. Please, my fellow Biafrans, in Manchester and all over the world, wake up from your sleep. We've been sleeping for many years. We've been sleeping, and the sleeping has done no good to us. I am begging you in the name of God, or the next time I will call, I will start insulting you guys. Please, wake up. Thank you. Thank you, Director. God bless you. And you too. Thank you very much. We have to wake them up. We must wake them up. This is radio. Be afraid. It's our job. It's our duty. It's incumbent upon us to spread this very message of the restoration of the sovereignty of the Republic of Biafra to the ends of the earth. It is incumbent upon us to also uphold, to prevail upon our people to understand the need for the irreducibility of truth and honesty in what we are doing, that we must be transparent, that we must make it very clear to all those listening that Biafra must come regardless of what we do. I shall now go and take this call from the caller on the line. Give us a name and where you are. Whilst Osito Keke will please hold on Skype. Go ahead, the call on the phone. Hello, my honorable director. This is Sensei Cyril Ozeman. I'm from Cologne, Germany. Go ahead, Osito. Good evening, go ahead. director. Good evening. Yeah, director, I want to make some comments over these people in Holland. First of all, I will give my thanks to Eke by traveling from uh, Stuttgart, Kasse, to Holland in order to join these people in their meeting. But as well, I'm criticizing them because I think this is not time for us to go into this kind of questions, you know, because this kind of questions will never bring us forward. Um, no matter whatever they are doing in Holland, no matter the kind of drug they are taking in Holland or smoking in Holland, this is not the right time for them to ask this kind of questions. This is the right time for us to join together and go and get back to what belongs to us. Not asking director, if somebody converts to Muslim, what does that mean? And if that and that is happening, how do you get your uh, Biafra back? We are getting Biafra by fire by force, whether they like it or not. We are going to get Biafra by fire by force. Even we get it by diplomatic way, we will still fight and destroy that zoo. Because that zoo, we must destroy that zoo. That knowledge will never exist again in this world. Let the people of Holland know that. If they are afraid of death, we are not afraid of death with the Biafrans. We are ready to fight our forefathers that fought this fight. And we are coming back again to defeat that country called Sue. We will not be afraid. Let the people of Holland know, no matter the kind of ganja or we will that you are taking, it will not cause us anything at all. We are going to fight for this and we are going to get it back. Whether they like it or not, because I can see that the people of Wallachia are scared. They are afraid. They are, they, they are afraid because of the ganja that they are selling. They don't, they don't want to lose their business. But let them know that Kurosawa have their freedom to get from, 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 from the Caribbean. And it's the Kurosawa people that make or dominate that Holland in, 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 in the hands of black people. And these our people who are living in Holland are using the influence of the Kurosawa people in order to settle down in Holland. You understand me, Director? I do. So I they do. have to wake up. They have to wake up. This is not time for question. I can love the family. It's, it's, it's work. Let whatever is in in Germany to travel down there to talk to our mature, evil, natural men who are just sitting down there laughing in the studio or thinking that the director is just wasting his time sitting down there to answer their questions. Are they not old enough? Whoever wants to get for them to come to Holland should listen to the kind of questions this mature men are asking on the studio. Yes. I know you have people. spoken. You have spoken. Everybody, not many people are happy. I mean, but what can we do? We answer questions if they put it to us. We answer. We encourage them to keep asking their questions, and we pray that the Chukwa Biyama will continue to give us the understanding to be able to respond appropriately. But the truth must be spoken. Our people don't like the truth, but that truth must be spoken. That is why we have Radio Biafra. Osito KK is with us. You will go ahead to address the world, please. We are listening. 
Thank you so much, uh, Director. Uh, my name is uh, Osto Keke, calling from Thailand. Uh, I greet each and every one of my fellow dear friends, uh, uh, them all over the world. I greet you all. I say, may the peace of Chukwa Biarabi to each and every one of us. He say, he say, Director, we thank you so much for your great work, for hope you are giving to us as a people. Uh, whenever I'm listening to your voice, uh, I keep asking myself, if not Radio Biafra, what we could have been doing? Is it uh, 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 10, uh, 10 p.m. we sleep just like that? Keep slaving. Uh, yes, we thank you so much. We thank each and every one of you. Our brother, Barista Mames, we love him so much. Karamonde, each and everybody who is contributing in any way to make sure Biafra was, will be restored. I thank you so much for your good work. Uh, Director, I want to use this opportunity to tell you this little thing. I thank this our brother who call us, uh, uh, is the type of person we need at this very moment. Uh, it's not, uh, we know, yes, you study this course uh, even 20 years, Director, but please, I want you to know that their fans which are angry now is, is more, is, is people who you need most than those who is still blind of what we are doing. We know you answer every question, but not cowardly question. How can somebody who calls himself a Biafran, who, is, who knows that we are, we are into freedom fighting, will come out here asking us if we are prepared? If we are, if we are prepared, we want to tell everybody who is listening to my voice this moment that if you are still doubting this very movement, if you are still doubting this very movement, I don't know what to qualify you as. A, well, you know that Nigeria is a, a, a spy entity. You are still asking us if we are prepared. I don't, I don't want to go far. Let me use this opportunity to call upon my fellow Biafrans here in Thailand. Uh, I want to remind them of our upcoming meeting, our first meeting of the year. Uh, the, the, the first meeting which we are going to raise Biafran flag in Thailand. We call on everybody to come out in mass in this our very first meeting of the year because Biafran flag, Biafra flag must go up high this very meeting. Uh, I call upon each and every one of you who are still in doubt in this very Thailand. We know, yes, many people are listening, director. Many people are listening in Thailand, but I must tell you, we are few. We know many of them are still doubting. We know, they, they told me all the time, we should go. Let, we, they will wait until we get there for they come. Uh, we say, they will come. Uh, I call on each and every big please. Our meeting remains the same place at uh, Patronam. Uh, our brother, Livino Skago, uh, office, uh, Petroburi, soil 15. You can get us. Or uh, if you like to call our, our, our PRO for direction, anyhow, you can call on 0890 uh, 530 5672. Uh, director, uh, please, I have been calling more than two weeks after our last meeting. Uh, and I don't know if you get our message, which we. Yes, we got, we it. We got the message from, from, of course, anytime it comes to. I have, been, I have been calling since that day. My number, my call hasn't got through, but I understand. So please, I want to call on my fellow Biafans, and I keep thanking all the whole Biafans from all over the world for your wakefulness. And director, remember, all we are waiting for is your go ahead. We don't have time to waste. We don't have time to waste. Please, we want to make everything hasty for your go ahead order. That is all we need for now, not our one person. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. You have spoken very well. This is Radio Biafra, and we must continue to preach this very gospel. And we shall return to the line, and the caller on our Skype line will give us his or her name, and where they are calling from, because we are Radio Biafra. Can you hear me? No, no. They can't. Give us your name, the caller on the phone. Can you hear me? Hello? Yes, the caller on the phone. Go ahead, it's you. Your name and where you are. Yeah. Yeah, this is Chica calling from China. Chica, what is your surname? Chica OBDK calling from China. Yes, please go ahead. The world is listening to your voice. Go ahead. 
Yeah, uh, exactly. I really want to know. I, I, I just have to comment on... You're, you are fading away. You are fading away. Can you come back, please? Your voice is... We are losing it. Can, can, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. And whilst the caller on Skype shoes, please stay I, where they are. I must commend you for your good work. Thank God you. Heaven will provide everything you need. Thank but you. What I want to do, I want to know the coordinates of here in China. I want him to reach me on this media. Maybe he's online now. I want him to reach me so that I will get his number and I will call him. Yes, okay. our our coordinator in China is Tochukwu Nungwo. We need somebody to confirm the number. Tochukwu, give us the number with which Tochukwu can be reached. Please send it to me so I can announce it. Thank Keep you, listening you. and you'll get this number. Thank Keep you. listening. Thank you very much. This is Radio Biafra. We have a caller on Skype. You will give us your name and where you are. As for us, we are in London. I'm Juliet Obi. I'm calling from Lagos, Nigeria. You're welcome to the program. Please go ahead. I want to speak about the former caller, the one that said that someone asked a question that is not right. If he's listening now, I want you to, to tell him that everyone has every damn right to ask any question that they are not clear with. And it is our duty to put them through. So no question is too cheap or no question is just too stupid for us to answer. So that's what I want him to be clear about. Anyone can call us to ask us any question and director it's your duty to answer such questions it doesn't matter if it's stupid it doesn't matter if it if this if the question is senseless or anything you just have to answer it it's your duty so that's why i called the guy really provoked me thank you very much thank you it's freedom of speech you see why we are different from Hausa people people can understand why we are different why we are the children of the light why we believe in enlightenment reason reason that's what makes us different from the rest we differ in opinions but we are pursuing the same thing the caller on this phone will give us his or her name and where they are calling from we are radio biafra hello yes your name and where you are yes director thank you so much my name is oliver Mujie. i'm calling from london please go ahead oliver go ahead Yes, uh, thank you so much, Director. I want to thank you, uh, as usual, um, and uh, our, our, your whole team. Um, you are doing a great job, and the world is listening to you. I tell you, you've gone extensively very far all over the world. They are listening to you, and um, people are being uh, um, told about Radio Biafra, and they are tuning up, and they are making comments. But it's unfortunate not everybody can reach you. I, am, I just came in now and, and joined up because my phone broke on the way the, the signal wasn't okay so i rushed in now and i caught the last part of uh, these um, people from holland uh, asking <laughs> you very stupid questions so I, I i just decided instead of going to the shower now i said no i must get you on the phone and tell you director please you, you don't have to waste your time answering very stupid questions because i don't think our people so, you know, some of the people that ask this type of question, I don't know whether they reason from the nose or from the head. Otherwise, how can a full-fledged Biafran human being with blood of an evil man flowing into his veins? We ask this kind of question. Do you need anybody to ginger you? Do you need to know that you are in slavery? Don't they have anger in their heart? Don't they sit down to meditate? I mean, I have just concluded this um, uh, um, the tragedy of victory written by Alabi Isama, the, this um, this guy that uh, uh, was um, one of the commanders of the Tri Marine Commandos. Go and read that book. I just finished it two days ago. I borrowed it from uh, a colleague at work because I don't think I will use my money to, to buy this. But I like to read to find out where we made mistakes and the enemy side of the story. After the war, it was agreed, according to this man, that no Igbo man, under no circumstances, should be allowed to come near the corridors of power in Nigeria forever. It is contained in the latter part of this book, when he was in his uh, analog analysis. So, no Igbo man, it was agreed between the houses of Basanjo, uh, Babangida, 
um, um, Buhari, and all the rest of them, that no Igbo person should be allowed, and that the Igbo should be stifled through economic uh, um, um, uh, the, the, uh, disadvantage, that nothing should be cited, especially international airports. Because if you give these people a chance by allowing them to have an airport, they are going to surprise you because of the kind of things they will do. Now, you can see that since in how many years after the war for 40 years, we do not have an international airport in the whole of the eastern region. And some of people from uh, Bendo, the former Bendo, that still deceive themselves, thinking that they are Nigerians, they should go and read Alabi, uh, this man's book. All the services surrendered to the three marine commandos at the end of the world, what happened? They just push them by the side, including the so-called Scorpion. Adekunle. Where is he today? He is dying in Lagos. He is so wretched and very poor that nobody remembers him. He is the one that spearheaded them through Cross River and all that. Reading that book, you know, I got so angry, but then I continued because I wanted to finish it. And it's given me a lot of information. People who are still doubting about Biafra, people who are still doubting whether Biafra should stay or whether they will continue with Nigeria should go and read that book. If you continue with Nigeria, you are going to remain in solitude. Your children and great, great grandchildren, in fact, time shall come when nothing. In fact, there is what they call Spencer, um, uh, Spicer, Spicer one. They wanted to use on the Igbos. That's what Abbasanjo recommended. That has gathered them together in the in a way in the last in the final push to Uli Uli Airport, use all kinds of British made and uh, uh, and um, um, these uh, Egyptian pilots to make sure that nobody breeds in Ibo land. In short, level the place and use it as a farmland, just like the Amadou Bello said. They still have that at the back of their mind. Amadou Bello spoke it. It was hidden, now it's out, anybody can go and read it in the internet. What they intend to do with Igbo land. And we are still there having doubts. Will this happen? What are you going to do if you do that? Get the answer first. It should go the way in here, folks, also. Then be out, you don't know, be out, be you haven't gotten Biafra yet. You're here asking if we get Biafra, where, where is the capital going? Look at that kind of question. We can, for God's sake, put the capital in Oyo State, on, in Oyo. We can put it in Potrako. We can put it in Oware. We, we can put it in Umwaya. There are so many places we can put our, uh, our uh, place our capital. There are so many things we can do. But let us get Biafra first. Because we are suffering. It is a shame that after your education in Nigeria or wherever, you come here, you do all this menial job, you think you are relaxing and very happy. Don't they have anger in their hearts, our people? I know that some of them are blinded by maybe the, you know, the so-called comfort they have in Europe. But what is the comfort? When you, at your home, where you come from, other people have pushed you out and they've occupied the whole land, helping our women, producing all these stupid children that are asking stupid questions. Please, uh, Director, do not allow this kind of question. And I recommend that you go and read this Alabi's book. It will make you more angry, and you will find out the plans they had for Biafra. I know. I've the been reading. I have been, now, I have been reading it. This president, good luck, came in by, look at how good luck came in. It was because of the death of the former president, that was how he came in. In fact, when Yeradua died, they did not want to tell anybody because they were planning to maneuver and put their own person. That was the plan. Our, our, our own sister also, the right had to exist that they must tell them what is happening, to, what happened to the president. It was after this woman existed that they now agreed that this man is dead and they brought the back, body back in the night. Where is Dora today? They pushed her aside because they do not want anybody to confront them. When that woman was in, was in Navdak, see her achievements. Ngozi Okonjo Iwala, look at her achievements. Our other sister that they are harassed now because of she didn't give them the chance. Look at her, you know, whenever we come into a place and decide to, you know, do anything with it, we do it properly. 
we are a special people. We can build Biafra. It might take time, but like you answer to the guy, well, there's no messing around at all. Nobody is going to be pampered. In short, if he wants to build a mosque, let him start planning to go and live in Kano. We do not want any Islam in Iboland. We don't. That is nonsense. It cannot happen. Him, we don't want no it. Pampering. Give it to him straight away. We do not want that. Because anywhere in the world you have Islam, there is a problem. Whether it is their fault or the fault of the religion, I do not know the reason. But there is a problem everywhere you find Islam. So we do not want that kind of problem. That is Thank correct. you so much, Director. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Well spoken. Anybody who doesn't know what they're planning for us is an idiot. He's a complete fool. People who can't reason properly. I can't stand in front of such people. They irritate me. They are the reason why Africa is backward. They are the reason why they refer to us as monkeys. These are people who cannot reason and are incapable of reasoning. I don't like them. People who are stupid, I don't like them. I'm very, very sorry if some people feel offended. I happen to be an educated man. I hate people that went through education and cannot utilize it effectively. The caller on Skype, give us your name and where you are, please. The caller on Skype, can you hear me? Yes. <clears throat> Hello, director. Yes. Your name and where you are, please. Hello. Uh, this is Son of Thomas Wobo. Yes, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Barcelona, Spain. Please go ahead. Uh, director, you know this is Holland people. You know why the guy is asking uh, where, will, where will we have uh, capital and uh, all these their stupid questions? You know, most of the hotels in Lagos are owned by all these the Afghans in, in Holland. I tell you the truth. All the, all the investments are being done outside the Biafran land. So many of them don't even, uh, they're not interested. Because they know when we go, all those things will be there. So that's why, you know, you see them, they pretend that they have, they have not had a Biafran going home or, or, or a person of Biafra. So the director don't mind that they know what they are, they are talking. They are, they are, they are, they are, they are, they are, they are comfortable. They have hotel, so and, and uh, what does it call Lagos in first time in all this rubbish. Director, thank you, thank, thank you for giving my call. Uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm be, 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 people are not happy about it at all. Thank you very much. Give us your name and where you are. The caller on Skype. This is Radio Biafra. The caller on yes, Skype. Yes, can you hear me? Can, yes, I can hear you. Can you hear my me? My name is Lok, but I'm calling from Sweden. Please go ahead. Do. Yeah, I'm going to um, formally congratulate this concept because I see that it's, um, it's a great way to get everybody united. You know, this is my first time I've been in this program and um, I'm very, um, you know, interested to see what is happening and uh, I've gotten a lot of information with what is happening and I see that Biafra is still alive. Well, I want to declare my interest in um, being officially involved in this you know i'm um, um um very much interested and uh, i want to put in my effort so i want to say that um anytime something is um requested or needed anywhere anytime you know meetings or wherever you know i'm very much interested you know i'm very much available you know i know that biafra is our land and we're going to get biafra um and what, what is uh, your number? That, uh, this, um, what is your telephone number? Like the Aousas and the Yorubas. What is your number? Are, Can you they hear are, me? They, 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 they don't like Igbos. They don't like us. You know, yeah. I am. Um, I'm very sure of that. They don't like us. You know, since I got into this program, I've called Nigeria to get so many people connected to this program. And uh, you know, on top of my phones, they are listening right away. You know, and they're giving me more information of what is happening. You know, so I want to say that uh, Biafra will come to life, you know, Biafra will exist, you know, I know that we Igbos, we can make it, you know, because we are the best in humanity, you know, we, we, we have all the brain, we have all the technology, we have everything we need, so it's time for us to put ourselves together, and I'm declaring my interests, you know, and I'm declaring myself in this struggle, and we're going to do it, and our children, our children's children 
are going to enjoy the benefit. Thank you very much. Thank you. Before you go, I need your telephone number. Can you hear me? I don't know. Yes, so that our people there can contact you. That's where we need it. Can you hear me? Hello? No, I don't think he can. I do not think he can, but he's still active, but the static is wobbling a bit. I don't know if he can. Can you hear me? No, he cannot hear me. When people say they want to, oh no, he's frozen, that's why. Uh, Skype is responsible for that. Let's take this call. The caller on the phone, your name and where you are. This is Radio Biafra. Uh, hello, Director. Good yes, morning. yes. your name and where you are. Uh, uh, this is Archie Deberry calling from Malaysia. Yes, um, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Doctor uh, Biafra, please, um, uh, in regards of the people that uh, they called from Holland, you understand me? Uh, in Russia, those people there, they are marijuana takers. They are drug addicts. I know, I know them. I have a brother that is there. You get like human beings. You understand me? They don't look like human beings. But God, this uh, struggling that we are into now is not whatever they are talking about. They are talking about that. Yeah, Marijuana, which costs about three or ten, ten euro. This is all what they are all, all about. What they are uh, yeah. so please, director, don't talk much about them. Forget about them. Let's put your hands. You understand me? Please, director. This is all I have to tell you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. But we are receiving information that they happen to be interested. Chica is messaging me to say that they are ready to be part of the struggle. If that is the case, then we welcome them. We welcome everybody. We must continue. We must continue to grow because it is important that we unite people. The essence of having Radio Biafra is to ensure the unity of our people bound together in truth and honesty. Not just getting together to go and steal, to pillage, to rape, to kill. No, not at all but to be bound together to go and rescue Biafra from the clutches of death. This is Radio Biafra, and we have a caller on Skype. Give us your name and where you are, please. Can you hear me? It's a new caller, no doubt. It is a new caller. We must give them some time. I've become very patient. I've been told I am now very patient. We have a caller on Skype. Can you hear me? Yeah, we are still waiting for them. My voice is playing over. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Directly. Exactly. We can hear you. Can hear me now. Turn now. Turn your system down. Give us your name and where you are, please. I'm now very patient. We have a caller on Skype. Can you hear me? Now he's, he's continuing. That is the problem. He will call back when he realizes what he's done. He'll call us back. The caller on Skype again. Your name and where you are. The caller on Skype. Your name and where you are. No, these are new people calling. Can you hear me? Okay, okay. To go to the coordinator's line to go and take this call. Give us your name and where you are. The caller on the coordinator's line. This is Radio Biafra. Can you hear me? Hello. We have a caller on Tuchuku is not listening, is not paying attention. I find that very distressing. Give us your name and where you are. The caller on the phone. This is Radio Biafra. Hello, Grandlandy. Yes. Yeah, this is Leon Ibebugu from Ireland. From Ireland, you're welcome to the program. Please continue. The world is hearing your voice this very minute. Uh, actually, I want to divert our discussion a little bit out from Holland. I actually wanted to talk about, there was a lady that called two days ago from Limerick in Ireland. Yes. She's a, she says she's a, a Biafran by marriage. Yes. And, and she said something about uh, something that I actually think uh, interesting because it's actually what is happening in Ireland, well, in Cork, where I reside. It's about our men and our evil people, the way they throw party and drink anything and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. 
and she made mention about uh, something like that. And I, I wanted to like uh, emphasize more on that because you can see uh, people, I mean, Igbo people, throwing away their uh, hard-earned money, you know? Uh, uh, when I mean hard-earned money, nine to five hard-earned money on stuff like parties and, you know, booze and pandemium. So uh, it's like, she, whatever she says, she's, she's very correct. I mean, this is the time we need to come together, you know, to make this thing happen. But they're actually hesitating and telling us, uh, we have a lot, a lot of members that started this thing with us, then they started hesitating and they went back. And there are some that won't even want to talk about it, you know? But I'm, I'm just saying that this is a time we need to come out and make a better future for our children. Like that lady, I, 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 I felt what she's saying. And I'm just using the opportunity to tell her, even though she's, uh, she and her husband are the only people that are interested in uh, Limerick, she should like maybe join the uh, Women League. Yeah, maybe they, uh, there will be interesting uh, women that she can bring in because I believe that this thing, if women are more interested, they kind of get the men to look at it. Uh, like in my in my own case now, is is my husband that started it, and I became like interested. So I'm just saying that I, I felt what she's saying, and and, and I want her. I, I I hope she's listening to me. If she can just sign in with the Biafran women, that way she can help her husband and maybe attract other women so that we can build a, a future for our, our children. I have her I number. If you want it, I have her number. And then I shall try. And um, I don't know what we're going to do. If you're on WhatsApp, send yeah. a message on Radio Biafra line on WhatsApp and then I'll text you her number. I have it with me. This is Radio Biafra. Thank you very much. I have Lilia's right. number with me. Thank you very much. Thank you. There's an impression we must correct because if we allow it, we'll be misleading everybody with a property outside be it one pin one grain of sand if you forget a bag of cement if you forget one block one brick if you forget a sheet of zinc if you forget one plank if you leave it there if you're forced to run away out without it you all your properties will be returned to you that was where we said 67 to 70 is not 2013 to 2015 you will not lose anything outside nothing do you know that the jews got everything back the israelites when hitler killed them and all over europe they took their money they got everything back they got everything back so do not despair you will not lose anything. In fact, Biafra guarantees the safety of your properties outside Biafran territory, more than Nigeria. That is very, very clear. Give us your name and where you are, the caller on the phone. This is Radio Biafra. Uh, hello, good, e good evening, Mr. Namde. Good evening. Yeah, my name is Ogome Bunam. I'm calling from Holland. From where? From Holland. Poland. Yes, Holland, Holland. Oh, Holland, Holland. sorry, Holland. We're getting it mixed up, Holland. Thank you very much. Yes. Please go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, and please, um, there is some problems uh, which the editorial board, I don't know, let me say it, uh, the coordinator uh, of uh, the chief of coordinator of the Kwenyago caught in Holland. There are a group of people who have been meeting for five times or six times in Holland under the former, uh, under, the, under the, the, uh, the other brother who is coordinating Holland. And they promised the Red Biafra that they will get back to them January. And they held their first meeting of the year last Sunday. And they called the Radio Biafra. Yes. Some people of some people called again today that they are meeting. Can I ask one question? And that question I want to ask is this. Since Radio Biafra has been meeting, have you ever had people that have their own meeting, if not Saturday or Sunday? Today is what? Today is Tuesday. Monday. There are people who have the, uh, who, who, uh, the blood of uh, Biafra are running in their veins. They are ready to die for Biafra. They are ready to die in, in, in order to achieve Biafra. Please. Please. Please, I do not see a reason why the defense coordinator, who is no nonsense man, a man who is not dubious, a man whose foot word is yes, and he stands for yes, a man whose word is no, 
and he stands for no. A man who has done so much for their, uh, 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 to see that their friends stood up in this Netherlands. He has gone to so many places, he has gone to so many meetings, and yet you people could not acknowledge it. And now somebody is calling. Maybe that person has never even been in the meeting before. And someone has called and asked a, a nonsense question. And that is what Netherlands has been. Everybody has been carrying up in Netherlands. My fellow brother and sisters all over the world listening, to, listening, uh, listening for, to me. I have to say it plain and clear. There are those who stood up for Biafra in Netherlands. They may be few. They may be few. But money is not everything. They may not have the money. They, they stand stand for Biafra. If you like, you take it. If you don't like, leave it. This is me. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is Radio Biafra. We don't believe in sentiment. We allow people to do what they are supposed to do. Holland has been very poor. The coordination has been shambolic. It has been useless, in fact. Absolutely useless. We need people who can come out to coordinate. We don't believe in speculation and theory and emotion. This is Biafra we're talking about. We don't have time for sentiment. Don't feel sorry for me. I want action to be done. And Holland must rise up. We must raise Holland. It must rise up. We are not here to play to the gallery. We are here to get Biafra. We are not here to entertain any manner of sentiment. We don't want to be loved. We want Biafra to come. You can hate me if you like. You can despise me, but Biafra is going to come. Ike Chukwenyaku must do his job, and he's doing it excellently well. Any non-performing coordinator should be removed on the spot. We're not here to waste time and to play games. Give us your name and where you are. The caller on the phone. This is Radio Biafra. Hello, good evening. Director Nam Dikano. This is Ute Chukwono speaking from Cork Island. Please go ahead. Nam Dikano, I'm just listening to what we are discussing with Holland people. Uh, actually, I'm very, I'm not so surprised about what they are doing because the same similar thing do happen in Cork where I live. You know, there are some people who have this uh, mind of moving this Diafra forward. And uh, which I am one of them, I know how it worries me much. And I know how I talk to people. I can fight for Biafra and I can die for Biafra. And since when I started following Biafra, I've been doing my great part to make sure that I bring people in. But sometimes people are very, very hard and critical. When you are talking to them, they don't even want to listen to you. And again, one thing I want to tell you is this. What, we are, what I'm just seeing is this. Some people, when they come in and see the people who are coordinating, who have been there before them, they say, why must it be these people that will be there? That I can't be there, I can't come in there because there are people there. Are you getting what I'm saying? Of and course, it yes. Is very, very bad. It is very, very bad for me, Japan. I have started saying it to everyone. If you say that you have a skill, you don't look for who is there before you. Come in and put your skill. That is where people will recognize you. But what they are doing is that they will say, Mr. Obunna is there. I cannot be there. Or Uche is there. I cannot be there. Or this one is coordinator. I will not be there. This is rubbish. When you are fighting, a freedom fighter doesn't look who is there. Or whatever you are doing, even if you are looking for a job, a professional job, you cannot say that this person is a manager, I will not go to that place to grab through my CV. You have to come in there and show you are clear. So that if you have that skill, when you come in there and show you are clear, that skill will pull, will pull you up. So I don't see why our people are having the mentality is there and who is there. You know the fact? In Holland, I know that there are a couple of people in Holland. I have been in Holland, I have been in so many countries all over the world. I know that there are people who have what it takes to move the Africa. And I'm not happy to stand here and be discussing about Holland because Holland people have what it takes. Holland and Germany have what it takes to move the Africa up. It's not, just, it's, not, it's, not, it's not just this kind of talking. We are talking and talking and talking. I can call about 10 people in Holland who can even sponsor this very, this, this very, this very uh, 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 location. Why are, they, why are they drawing back? 
Is it because they, see, uh, they, they did not come to us before the, the brother coordinators that are handling it? Everyone cannot come the same time. This is what I'm just telling the, the job rounds all over the world. Don't look that Mr. A is dead for you. Come in and show your fear. Come in and show your fear and let me for one. There's something that we're supposed to be talking, not this. Please. I, I'm calling out Jafra all over the world. I know that this is exactly what is happening because it's deserving that is happening where I am. And I keep preaching it to them. They come to me, they say, if this person is there, I'm not going to be there. Why, why can't you be there? So this is what I'm just trying to, to let everyone to know, please. Mr. Director, my beloved one, I give you kudos and I continue to pray for you. Even my children are praying for you. My children have known you, they like you, and they said that they would like to see you whenever you come to Ireland. I am waiting for you to come so that we will talk. Even if there are people that they, they don't want to come, I don't care because we are going to get what we are looking for. We are going to get it. Whether they like it or not, we are going to get it. Okay? Thank you so much, my director. This is what I want to uh, say this evening. Thank you very much. Thank you for calling. This is Radio Biafra. I said it before. And I will say it again. We know the reason why we lost the war. We know the reason and it will not happen again. One of the reasons why we lost the war was complacency. We can't afford to be complacent. Our enemies are not complacent. So why should we? Every non-performing coordinator will be stood down. If you perform, we praise you. Give us your name and where you are. This is Radio Biafra. Your name and where you are. Hello, my name is Radio Chinemeri Yezuchi from Italy. From Italy, please go ahead. Yes, um, concerning what is happening in Holland, I will tell you the truth. Some group of people, they have made this fire for SND. And uh, you are not a member of no. SND, which I'm trying to shut down. But anything Igbo meeting or anything Igbo communication, if you be a foreign communication now. So if you are not a member of uh, anything as in Debo with their group, you to be right. And really put your hands together in my head. Where is this coming from? You want to go have an issue. I want you to please be consigned with this young man, the former president. Let him continue that work. And I know he will do it better. With the spirit I'm seeing this night, he will do it better. Please, director. So, you, you, are you asking for the former coordinator to remain? Yes. Yes. I don't, I don't know. I, he has been stood down. He has yeah, been yeah. stood down. We don't want to hold this type of conversation anymore for the simple reason that we must make this very clear. We made it also very apparent with Billy. One chance only you have with us, not two, not three, not four. One, you get it wrong and you're off completely. Because when we go to face our enemies, one single simple mistake, you are off. You are killed off and you're finished. We can't allow that to happen to us. We can't allow complacency. For how many months did we try to encourage her? How many months more do they need? This is 2014. Do you know this is 2014? Yeah. If we don't right. if we don't start our move this year, we might as well forget all the things we are doing and stop deceiving ourselves. Yeah, that I understand you. What you are saying is right. But uh, concern myself, I know what I'm seeing here. Then somebody in the church at the other time they talk about it where we went to the um, meeting in uh, in Padova. And I make comment, if the person that is connecting is not the right person known by good people, by good foundation, let the person not continue. But in this case, people will just bring their own idea, bring confusion. If maybe that man from Chenze is talking lies, now we have known the truth. If you want to join your fellow brothers, come with them. Don't be outside and calling direct or direct or sending message direct and criticizing people that is doing the best work. We are trying to restore our country and that is what we need. There is no other thing. Uh, Frederick uh, Lucifer have done what they have done. It, now it is for us to keep Lucifer away and to put our, our, our life to be straight, which we are right from origin. We are not people that cheat people and we are not people that kill but innocent souls. That 
is why we need this Biafra and with God all things are possible. And I want everybody to bear in mind we have to vow to God to give us this Biafra. In whatever way we are going to vow, anybody can make his own vow in his own sight and in his own place. Let it remain that this vow is what we need and maintain that vow. Because if you cannot fulfill vow, better, better don't, don't, don't make vow. You understand me? So I need this to be restored by this man in Holland. And again, our people should wake up. They are still waiting on to get their flag. And, we, and I said it, my director, let me not take too much time. I have said it before. Anybody who is living in Europe, their family knows that they are living in Europe. We will come there one by one. Where are you when Biafra is asking for their restoration? What are you doing? These people wait until we get them and we'll give it to them so that they can do their business. And that is the whole and all that. Thank you, Director. May God bless you. And the man that God used to, to, to share, to raise this money to buy this transmitter, because he did not eat it, may something never lack for it, generation to generation to generation. That's my prayer. Thank you, Mr. Rebo. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much for calling. This is Radio Biafra, and we must broadcast. We have a coordinator in place. We have a coordinator in place in Holland as we speak, and that coordinator must take up their duties. And also, we do need zonal coordinators to coordinate the various areas. All the various areas must be coordinated. That is very, very important also if you're joining us. I don't know where the barrister is. I know the barrister is with us. Barrister, can you hear me? Barrister Mamezu, I need you to come in to bring your fine wisdom to what we are deliberating upon, especially this very case this evening. Barrister Mamezu, can you hear me? The barrister was with me before. I hope our lines are not playing up. People have complained. For If you experience any loss in transmission, please go to YouTube. Go to YouTube, please. Because of the volume of people. The volume of people coming in is a bit much. That is why. Give us your name and where you are. The caller on the phone. This is Radio Biafra. Hello, Daleto. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, this is Emmanuel calling from Denmark. Emmanuel Ani, I'm from Enugu State. Please go ahead, from Denmark. Manuel. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, Daleto, I want to plead so that you can please consider this uh, this uh, coordinator in Holland because I know what is going on in this special Denmark. This Denmark is uh, one kind of... Um, place that uh, our coordinator in Denmark here, he tried to tell a lot of people about Biafra, but it's very, very difficult for them to understand. And a lot of people know, a lot of people that um, like a leader, like people that are uh, supposed to lead this Biafra, whenever this our director talk to them, they cannot listen. But the, the day that I met this our, uh, our coordinator, and uh, the coordinator talked to me, tell me, have you hear about Jafla? So because I'm um, nobody in Denmark here, especially in Copenhagen, if you ask them, Ema Enugu, they will know that they know me. But now I try to help the coordinator. Not that I have any title, but because I know that when I start telling people, they will be coming because the director try his best. But none of them come out. But for me, because there's influence I have for my own, some people, I could met in, uh, uh, in Enugu, uh, Enugu Union in Denmark here, Copenhagen uh, here. I'm their uh, PLO. Also, he called, he, when the coordinator talked to me, then I, I understand when I hear the radio diaphragm. So I, I just, it's like baptism. My body and everything, I sacrifice myself that I have to do what work for Jafla. So now I start doing the work, even what other directors uh, cannot do. Try all my best to make sure that uh, everything will be okay in this, uh, all, many people will be coming out. But for our coordinator here, he do a very good work. He work around to tell people, but many people don't uh, want want to hear anything from him. So people will tell him, don't like anything from me. But me, I'm talking to them 
Whether you like it by force, I can give you by force. Whether you like it by peace, I give you by peace. That's what I'm doing. But I don't need anything like a, a title or anything. But what I do, I'm working for Diabla. And um, uh, for what is going on in Holland, I start thinking about what is going on in Denmark. Because the coordinator in Denmark try his best. Because very soon, all that group, like today, I met a one man in bank. When I was in bank, this, guy, this man tried to tell me, when the police, when the, we get the Apple, and this man is on, no, the, uh, people know him in Denmark. He tell me, when you get the Apple, then he can join us. And now that we are getting the Apple, Maybe some group will come from anywhere and they form themselves and they gather and they start calling. They say, oh, we can do this, we can coordinate, we can then they, all the whole job we'll be doing here, they will throw it out with, and the other connect will start going on. Because those groups, they don't want to come together with us now that we are talking to them. So now what I'm trying to ask from my opinion, what I try to ask you, Daleto. If eventually that uh, other group in Denmark here, because they have Igbo Union, there are a lot of people, there are a lot of people called Igbo Union here, and they will be asking them to join us. They don't want to join us, and some people they're waiting when well, they're waiting to see if the Diapa is coming on. And now we see that Diapa is coming on, and if they start coming out and they start to throw or uh, talking rubbish about we that trying to educate them or try to put them in order to hear about this Diapa to join us, but they don't want now, they, they start to uh, talk in rubbish about us. What are you going to do? Are you going to set the coordinator in Denmark to stop and we don't need any more? So other those groups should come in. Please, I ask this question. If you can answer me, I'm pleading. Sorry for... No, for I will answer your question direct and very simple. The fact of the matter yeah. is that we tried to contact the coordinator in Holland. It was not possible to contact him. We are not children. We are adults. We know those who are with us from the beginning. We know those who have been struggling. We know those that struggled through. Anybody coming from anywhere and saying they want to do something spectacular when we did not find them in the beginning, that person or group of persons are wasting their time. It will not happen. We know who our hard-working coordinators are. We know those with eight people struggling to make it to ten. We know those with more than ten struggling to expand. We have all the information. That is why we have our coordinator of coordinators in Ike Chikwenyago. We have all of that facts and information. What happened was that Holland was not performing the way they should. If you are a struggling coordinator, all you need to do is to maintain contact with the headquarters. Keep telling them what you're doing. Keep accepting the little work that you can do. Before you know it, as you said, other people will come and join you. It's very simple. I went to Hamburg. The young man was struggling and said it openly before everybody. But today, Hamburg is very strong. Very simple. You can tell he was trying. You can see him trying. And those people there didn't want to listen to him. But he kept trying and kept trying and kept trying until he succeeded. You don't give up and say uh, you're trying. And uh, so what if you if you try? And then what? Do you think that if we go into Nigeria and say give us Biafra, they give us Biafra? You don't know we're going to fight for it. Look at our people. I was just watching them today. Ordinary Twitter. They have not tweeted up to six times. Each other had their tired of tweeting. That was why we abandoned the war after three years. Our people don't understand the word perseverance. The child has to be standing there for the adults to bring his or her hand down for the child to take what belongs to him or her. If you walk away, they can bring their hand down and rest it for a while. If you come, they put it up again. Our people must understand the need for perseverance. That is why we don't have any media. Back home, I'm drawing out all these things so people understand why we do what we do and why we do it the way that we do it. Our people cannot see profit in newspaper, but they don't know that it has what is called altruistic value. There are other values associated with media ownership. It is not a question of profit. It is not buying and selling. That is why today Eurobars can decide who lives and who dies. They can decide who to appoint as a minister and who to fire. But maybe those newspapers that are there shaping people's opinions don't make any profit. Our people must understand perseverance and to persevere. We are looking into it. 
you made very fine yeah. points, but nobody is going to come out to replace people in, in Denmark. Nobody is going to come out to do anything to replace our existing coordinators where they are very strong and very firm. It cannot happen. I can tell you that. We know who Thank are you. those with us. We don't abandon our friends. We don't abandon genuine Biafrans because this is Radio Biafra. Thank you very much for calling and God bless you. We are going over to the line, to the coordinator's line to take this call. Are you there? This is Radio Biafra, the caller on the coordinator's line. We are with you. You're live to the whole world. Please proceed. Uh, good morning from China. Director, this is from China. you are welcome to the program. Please go ahead. Thank you. Director, thank you for the good work you are doing for our people of Biafra. I'm a God that protects you and guides you. I thank all the editorial board members and the, all the coordinators all over the world. Um, I want to give out our number on here so that some people who don't have it will have it now. Go ahead. Go ahead. That is for China. Those listening in China. Yes, go ahead. For eight, six. Yes. 135. 135, yes. What? Eight. Zero five four. Eight seven. Eight zero. Eight zero five four. No 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 no. Told you go start again. Start from the beginning, please. We let's take this number down. Plus eight six. Plus eight. Yes. Three. Plus eight is one three five. One three five. Yes. Eight zero five four. Eight zero five four. Nine zero zero nine. Nine three zero nine. Nine zero zero nine. Nine zero zero nine. This is the number for China. If you are in China, and Tochuku, what you need to do, I know that um, Guangzhou is um, under lockdown, more or less. We need our. Pay we know those of you in Guangzhou where you've been extremely active and where I visited. You guys have done very well. You have represented your country very, very well. We know that for sure. But what I want you to consider, not to consider, what I'm asking you to do with EK Nyago is to make sure that we have the same grouping of Biafrans in every major city in China. We must have zonal coordinators in China. We must no, have. The I'm working on that now. I'm, I'm setting up uh, Biafrans in, uh, in Nimbo and the uh, Dongguan. Okay. Very soon, right up. I'm working on. I'm working on that now. That's very. And cool. I coming up uh, uh, this uh, coming Sunday. I want all the Afghans in China who wish to join us to come along to join us to this in this struggle. Direct them and we can idea but there is something our people don't you know they are not even thinking of that. Uh, uh, this is the is the uh, whatever they call him the one that have joined Islam. They want to set up uh, something like a like a Islamic uh, uh, leader or Islamic law in Ebola. When Islamic people will be killing us in uh, northern Nigeria, then if you decide to give them back, then your brother will be killing you in Ebola land also as an Islam. And the way they set up uh, Islamic, uh, the way they Islam, uh, Islamize us now, they will give us something like the Boko Haram. Then we will divide us into two. People will be talking about the Afla, others will be talking about Sharia law. That means we will not stand on the Afla again. There will be no need needing the Afra because what what we are running uh, what we want to run out uh, from Nigeria because of Islamic rule, Boko Haram or whatever is Nigeria in our land. That is what they are trying to do. But our people are not thinking of that. They are trying to Islamize us. This is the chance we have for this struggle. This is the chance we have for the Afra. If we miss this chance, that means we are finished. Nothing like the Afra again. Nothing like Ibo again. They are trying to Islamize us. The people are not seeing this. We are focusing on our own, making money, doing business, and forgetting where we came from. We have to come out. The Afghans in China, I thank everybody who come around. Today we made an end of the year party. I see a lot of people, 100 and something, even up to 200 people. I see them. Our meeting is coming up this Sunday. Please, I want you people to come out. Come and put hands together. We need the Afra. This is the time. We don't have any other time, and we are running the. We have to do something. Thank you, director. Thank you very much for calling, and I'm sure they will oblige you. They will come out. We are calling people who are desperate to be part of what we are doing. We are calling you to please come out and participate now, not tomorrow. 
you come out and say, I want to be a part of this. No. Now is your chance to do so. The caller on the line, give us your name and where you are, please. You are on the phone. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear my director. Please go ahead. This is, uh, this is uh, Luta Chuku Okore, the coordinator of Norway. Coming. Yes. Go ahead, please. Go ahead. Yeah, I, w I will start with uh, by um, commending you for wonderful effort that you have made uh, so far in uh, reaching our people in various places. I want to keep this in this one that uh, this right is already nine months. So uh, it can no longer be hidden. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, within the borders of the woman. Either, you know, the woman gave birth or Biafra will tear the womb and come out by force. So uh, I, I just want to uh, say that uh, most of our people who have had us and doesn't want to come out, whether they like it or not, with them or without, Biafra must be actualized. That is one thing that I strongly believe on. So um, uh, the main purpose I am calling to is to um, inform our people here in Norway. I uh, believe that so many of them are listening to us right now as I am speaking because they will have done uh, our grass, uh, uh, our grassroots work very well and many of them are connected online. So I want to uh, quickly inform them that uh, we will be having our first meeting this year. So uh, um, our first general meeting this year, which uh, will be coming up on the 11th, uh, being Saturday. Uh, the venue of the meeting is uh, Hagegata Toyen. Hagegata Toyen in Oslo by uh, 5 o'clock, 17.00. And um, I would want them as well to contact us uh, uh, with this number uh, for direction. The number is uh, 9888 The number again is uh, 9888 So uh, I, I just want uh, the people that are listening to me right now to know that uh, uh, Biafran uh, issue is no longer a uh, child's play. It's no longer a uh, business. Uh, so uh, every one of them should uh, quickly come out and uh, join the moving train that we may make our sovereignty a reality. Thank you very much. And God bless uh, the broad editorial uh, of Radio Biafra for the good work that we are doing so far. Thank you very much and God bless Biafran. Thank you very much. You have spoken very well. Thank you very, very much. This is Radio Biafra. The barrister is with me, but before I go to Barrister Man Mezu, let's go to the coordinator's line once again. The caller on the coordinator's line, please give us your name and where you are, please. Uh, good evening, Nandi. Good evening. Your name and where you are? Yeah, this is Ezekiel uh, Chukuma, the trans coordinator. Go ahead. Uh, please, I want... I want. I just want to say uh, um, one or two things um, concerning uh, the coordinator of Fuland, because um, what you normally you normally do before if somebody calls on the air, you help that person to get in contact with the coordinator of Fuland uh, the way you normally do before. But uh, on the issue of this Fuland of a thing, I overheard you. You did not. Uh, direct the person, this man that called to the, to contact the coordinator, you ask him to go ahead and start. So, uh, because uh, what is happening in Holland is not the way you must uh, um, 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 bound or this or kind of uh, disbound the, board, the whoever the coordinator in Holland is. For on my own opinion, I don't think it's the right thing because um, normally uh, everybody that calls. Can I, can, I, can I stop you there for one second? Do you okay. have the information that I have on Holland? Do you see what I see about Holland? Or do you think I will come on the air and make an announcement without being privy to all the facts? Do you know that as I'm on the air, that Ike Tukwenyago and Karomonde are in constant touch with me to keep me updated with every information that I need? Do you know that? Do you know that? No, I didn't no, know that. no, no, you don't. You don't understand that. That is why when you call Radio Biafra, you must have your facts. 
and as a coordinator i find that rather distressing that you don't know i have all the facts before me before i take any decision i get supplied with the information that i require the information i got when this whole thing was raging is that holland was not performing they have not been responding to directives coming from our headquarters and we will not condone insubordination we would not condone those that don't follow orders we will not condone any disloyalty that is how you breed sabotage we can't allow it to happen if you have anything to say say it on the air this is radio biafra the barrister is with me. I shall go to the barrister himself. We must commence because very shortly we bring in this program to an end. We would have been on the air for about four hours. The barrister, can you hear me? If you can, please, what do you make of what you're hearing? And please, I will ask you not to dwell on Holland. We've had enough of Holland, please. No, no, of course not. Please go ahead. <laughs> Director, I can never mention anything about Holland because... Uh... You are, I've heard about now, I should know my uh, sense of directions, you know. I don't dwell on things that will not achieve Biafra. Go ahead, go ahead. Thank you, uh, Director. First, uh, let me tell you the direction that I'm taking my position on. He's talking about our Biafrans, the eminent, able, bodied Biafrans who will produce, who will reproduce themselves who will make us proud in the Afra land. The people we need that they are trying to oust in the zoo. The zoo should I tell you director, the zoo is supposed to be proud that Biafrans are producing the finest. The finest women that can ever go international. But because of good luck Jonathan, he he is trying to bring on board our finest women that will walk along with him. And these are the women that the Yorubas are trying to play about with. Unfortunately for them, we have Radio Biafra to support our women. The women are honorable. Biafra women are talented, respected. They have brains more than the finest Yoruba woman you can, can ever produce. Our women are the latest in the, in the whole wide world that nobody can ever have our women. But because of the position the zoological people of Nigeria placed us into, they try to toy and play around with our women. A big shame. And this is what we are trying to recover. We are trying to bring about the finest that the world can produce. The Piafra women that nobody can ever play or toy with. The house of Fulani Boko Haram go around, go around kidnapping. Do they kidnap their other women? Do they kidnap their own Boko Haram women? They don't. Only Biafra women. Why are they looking for our women? Because their brains are originators. Their brains are the finest. Biafra women are talk of the town, top of the range. Director, we've forgotten. John Yusuf, the Yoruba man who was given billions to pay all the police who are retired, policemen who are retired, this Yoruba man took the money coming over here to come and invest it. He was arrested. But you know, up to now, nobody talked about him. He's been put somewhere where he's enjoying all the money, all the retirees given to him to look after. He took the money. You're about people, they have no legs to stand. You see, director, you always sum them up. You know them where they stand for. You know who they are. So when you preach about them, nobody can ever stand in your way or even stand to question you because you have them at their at your fingernails. You have them at your palms. They cannot try their friends. What we are trying to do is to restore the integrity. The benevolent spirit of the Afrans that are coming back. Director, I don't know where to start. I don't know where to stop. We are trying to bring about the integrity of our people. That we've been sent all over the world because of the atrocities in our land. And I'll give you a different scheme. The reason why, you know, the Afrans were not cowards. 
We are men and women of valor. We don't run away from our responsibilities. But because of the atrocities committed in our land, that's why people from Aniocha, Ibocha, Ibo land, Ibibio, Ethic, we are leaving that land because we don't like evil. We don't like where people have been maltreated. That's why you see us leaving our land. It's not because we don't know how to fight back. It's not because we don't know how to see it through. What we don't know about is how to condone, contain and condone evil. That is what the Afrans do not know what to do. Instead of us to condone and take bribe, we rather shun it. For you to bribe a Biafra, we tell you, break that pot that you use in feeding us. This is why we're supposed to return back to the integrity of our people. What we see these days is not of Biafra. The evil we see today is not of Biafra. Majority, of majority of Biafrans will shun evil. That is why nobody can say they found any problem, any wickedness where Epoeme, who was the former vice president of that zoo, the man came out single-handed. Nobody probed him because the man has nothing to be probed upon. Our people say, when you're not carrying anything, you cannot drop anything. This man went in as an honorable man. Unfortunately, we used to be proud of a maker. I know who we do not realize he, he is married to a Yoruba woman. And of course, director, I tell you, I cannot fault any Yoruba woman. It's just they are men. They are very dubious. Their women are very, very good. They like to come to our land. They like to marry our men. Unfortunately, some of our men who are married to Yoruba women, they tend to be corrupted by the Yoruba men. Our men do not know anything about wickedness, about killing, about all sorts of evils. As far as we are different, we don't associate ourselves with evil and wickedness. But when they mix up with Yoruba men, they tend to know how to mix black and white and put it into green. But director, the reason why you and I and all the editorial boards of Radio Biafra, we talk non-stop. It does not mean that we, if the director tells you, you know, sometimes when I finish talking, I know you do more. If you do more talking than me, even when I come back from the court, director, I'm tired. It's tiring, you know. I didn't know this can be so tiring. It is so tiring. It's on track. Director, tiring. it's not tiring. It will exhaust you. Yes, mentally. You will be weak. Mentally. mentally it's, it's very exhaustive, Director. But where you get the power to soldier on, I don't know. But because you're a Biafran. Director, because you want Biafra to be re restored. You want the resurrection of our country. The only country where you go home, you open your door. Look at how Ghanaians are living peacefully, Director. For God's sake, look at how Ghanaians, our next door neighbors, only be our friends, are scattered all over the world. And the British Director, just like just like what you say, we are British people are registered. There is war. There is no peace there. We are United Kingdom have governed. There's no peace. They will supply ammunition. They will supply guns. They want people to be dying. I don't know why. And they are telling Hitler and the Germans that they are evil and they are wicked. But where their interests are registered, there's no peace. I don't know where UK, I don't know where United Kingdom, why they are the way they are. Wherever their interest is, there is no peace there, there is evil, there is killing, there is wickedness. Why can't the United Kingdom change their ways? Because they, are, they, they have the brain, they have the talent. But why do they associate themselves with wickedness, with evil, with killing? Why? Director, why I have to stop so far, director, so you can tell me. I don't think you have to close, of course, we have been to. Director, I, I must tell you something. For the past, I have two, three, four, five, for the past two weeks now. In fact, I would say, since the beginning of this particular new year, you have extended our broadcasting period. You've extended it. And it's a good news. Now, because we are going home, that's why you've extended our time. But tell me why. You pay of all people.
They have the integrity when you go to their, their court system. They have their finest. When you go to their people, when you go to their house of common, they have the finest. But why are the people, their government, are so wicked? Wherever they go, there is evil. Wherever they go, there is anarchy. Wherever they are, people are fighting. Why is it that the French people are more peaceful than them? Please answer me this before you but Barrister, Barrister, I wish no the fact of the matter is that it's because of divide and rule. They think that the only way to control a people, because if I want to come to your house and take what belongs to you, look at the house of Fulani people that lent from the British. The only way to get access to Biafran oil is to make sure that a Bibio person will see an Igbo person as an enemy when they need their brothers. They will go to to, to um, Igbo Cham and say to them that, oh, Obibo, mind you, it's not an Igbo name. It is Oyimbo. They will go to a place like Ishekiri and say, Oh, remember that Awolo will uh, install an Ulu of Ishekiri. Yo, so, for that reason, some of your ancestry is Yoruba, not Igbo. When they sow that seed of discord, a Hausa person can just come down like Udele, vulture, and be eating what they didn't kill, which is the oil. Because they like it from the British. The British, the only way they can get access to your natural resources, the only way they can control you is to get two of you fighting. Then they're coming from outside and be taking what belong, what they think they should be getting. That is how it's the called divide and rule. Have you forgotten, Barrister? Divide and rule. They divide and they Barista. rule you. As simple as that. Barista. Division. Barista. Go ahead. Thank you very much because you are an intellectual. Anything that passed you by has not existed. You're you kind, have given me you the reason, kind, director. Barrister, you're kind. You're kind. In fact, I tell you, man, because you see, I've known you, director. This is why you and I can handle the world easily without any argument, without any quarrel. Oh. Not, if you don't kill us, we will not kill them. Of but course. we tell them how it is. Gradually, we will make a better world. Why would you kill somebody who is arguing with you? Why would you kill somebody who says, man, the way you are doing this is not right? Can you look it the other way? Director, why should you kill somebody who opposes you? Put that person right. This is how it is. A child asks you, how should this be done? You tell the child, why would you kill that child? Because you ask a question. And yet, you have told me that the Freedom of Information Act 2000 will give me this and that. Freedom of Information Act 1998 will give me this. And then when I turn around, you stab me and kill me. The only way you operate is just by killing people. You don't want anybody to challenge you. You don't want anybody to tell you you're wrong. You don't want anybody to tell you your fault. Director here on Radio Biafra, tell me my fault. I will learn. Tomorrow I will not misbehave. Tell me what I've done wrong. I'll correct myself. Director, this is how the world should be. Not if I tell you what you're doing to me wrong. You, you, you stay outside and, and, and become a sniper and shoot me dead. And then you forgot that one day you yourself will also die. Now, because you kill me, your own death will be miserable. They don't realize this. They don't know if you kill, if you shed blood, your own blood will be shed differently. If I die peacefully, because I've, I didn't kill nobody, if you kill somebody, you will not go scot free. This is what the problem. I did not create you, director. You did not create me. Why would you shed my blood? Why would you want me to die because I challenged you? Director, if I challenge you, challenge me back. Give me the reason why you should challenge me. I'll give you the reason why I'm challenging you. That it's almost, we move peacefully. Not because I criticize you. You send somebody to go and assassinate me. So that you come and take what belongs to me. That is not right. British people should change their ways. They have the intelligence. They have the diplomacy. They have education. Why killing somebody because they challenge you? Director, we are here in England. We appreciate their goodness because, I mean, if we're not here, where else can we broadcast? Elsewhere, you'll be haunted. But the British will welcome you, and then when they see that you're challenging them, they'll kill you. Why? That is why. The reason why they do it is because they have an understanding. It's not the British, actually. It's not the English. I must make this very clear. The people that fought against slavery in the Americas, those that formed what was called the Underground Railroad that was responsible for sending the slaves from the deep south to the north were the areas settled by the English. We must make this very clear. 
the English people naturally are conscientious. But you must know that the English is a mongrel race. They were baptized yeah. in the fire of combat by the Vikings that invaded them from the north. The Romans came here as well. The Vandals came. The Lombards came. The Normans came. All in conquest. All in conquest. Yeah. So all the blood mixed together. So all the time, the good people amongst them, those of them that inhabit the East Anglia part of the world, will be struggling to yeah, contain the savagery of some of them as well. It is there. So that is why they are. In fact, I must commend them. The English rarely lost a battle in their life, any war they went into. They are very brave people. They are civilized, yeah. they are civilized people also. They are very, very conscientious. Very, very conscientious people. But there are those that misrode. You know, in every 12, something must happen. There are those who are Excellent. evil. Like um, yeah. Frederick Lugard, I'm very sorry to say that they were, he came from a stock of people that were produced by the Vikings. The, the Vikings were savages. They came down to Scotland. They went to a place called Iona Islands. They massacred people. They massacred monks who were praying. And they impregnated the women. And some of them became that way. That is where he came from. He could not understand. His brain could not comprehend that you can be nice and civil to people without being a savage. There is nowhere that the British or the, not the British, that is the problem. Barrister, we've cracked it. Anywhere the British went to, you have problems because it contained people who were fathered or sired by the Vikings. Mixed race. Mixed race. Exactly. Put that, it that we, way. Everything was mixed together. But anywhere, yeah. the, anywhere, if you look at the English, the pure quintessential English people are gentle people. The English are fine people. They are fine don't people. Don't you see the, 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 the legal system? Very, very good. They are the most civilized. I've said it before, and I'll say it. England remains the most civilized piece of territory on this planet. Till tomorrow morning. Director, you... I, I tell you something. When I did my A level law at Enfield College, I started with a very fine book given to me by one Indian barrister and doctor at law, Dr. Chatterjee. I don't know if that man is still alive. He gave me one book written by English legal system. It's not Wales, it's not Scotland. English legal system. And this is how you found the Biafran legal system. Everything is the same, Director. English legal system. And that is what is being practiced in England and Wales. They have a very good legal system where justice and equity prevails. And, Director, this is how Biafra is going to be reinstituted, reinstated. Live and let live. Take what belongs to you and I will take what belongs to me, Director. This killing, meted to us by the house of Fulani, we don't want them in our land because we hate blood. We hate killing. We hate marginalization. We, we hate all sorts of evil. This is why Biafrans, we remain solely Biafrans. We don't want any mixture of anything. This is why our brothers and sisters have been converted to Muslim. We definitely have to go to Islamic land and stay there. We don't want any mix up. We hate atrocity. We hate cheating. We hate anything devilish. We like to be our, on our own. This is why when you come to Biafra land, our home is peaceful. We don't like to soil any person's blood in our own land. Look at what is happening in, in present geological people of Nigeria. People are not paid. Our people, we don't behave that way. If you work, director, you have to get your end work. You'll be paid for what you did. You go outside and look after somebody. You want to be paid, you'll be paid. We don't owe nobody. We don't hate anything that will look after others. We don't hate it. We love it. We embrace it. But when it comes to all this evil, kidnapping, impregnating little children, director, our system. When my mom, my mom, I went to see my mom today. My mom got married at the age of 13. That is the system then. Grief given to the parents. This girl, I'm going to marry her. When she gets to that age, we come and take her. Not by force, but by our cultural dowry system. But these days, 
is by force. You impregnate a woman, before you know it, she's kidnapped, children born, sold. Our, our culture has been digressed, it's been diluted, it's been devastated. And this is why Biafra must come so that we go back to basics. We go back to our culture. We go back to respecting those who need to be respected. The elders, our seniors, those who know and accept, acknowledge and follow the rules of God and the rules of mankind where everybody is equal. Where our women will be respected once again, not treated as if they are nothing. A woman will carry a child for nine months, or forth, and now women are looked down upon. Our women are revered, respected. But these days, Biafra women are being played and toyed with. Director, I don't know if you're closing. If you are, they are use this opportunity to thank our people wherever they are. To bless all of them, that tomorrow is another day. I respect every Biafra man or woman. Wherever you are, you are a Biafra. As far as you believe in the restoration, we are not we are not activating. We are not achieving. We are restoring Biafra because Biafra has been there before Lugard came. Instead of us blaming English people who are righteous people, very honorable people, let's put the blame where it lies squarely. If we have to go back and bring God in Brown, he's a Scottish man. Bring Tony Blair, he's half Scottish, half English. They have to restore it, restore Biafra how it was before. Conservatives were shouting, saying, no, 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 no. Well, I, 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 think, I think that Wilson himself must come from Scotland told the, the Nigerians to kill all the Afrans. And of course, we cannot all be killed. We have resurrected. And let me tell you this. We are going back to the Afra land. May God bless all the Afrans wherever you are. Tomorrow is another day. If you pull in that food today, we will meet you again tomorrow. Good night, everybody, and God bless you, Director. May God bless the director himself. <laughs> You're Ooh, a good man. You have even more time than me. You are a good Take man. You are kind. God bless you. You are kind and God bless to you too. That was the eminent barrister, Anthony Atlo, barrister Mamezu. I shall go to Carol Monday as well. Please, Carol, you will commence your own descent as well as the very good barrister himself has descended. Please go ahead. Yes. Um... <clears throat> Today, you know, and always, we I hear the words, we can get Barafra, we can do this, get Barafra. And the one thing has struck me, that you actually have Barafra already. Slightly on his knees, but and you need to be restored to full strength, agreed. But you have Barafra. There is no treaty. The UN says that you have your rights. They have taken your identity and they brainwashed you, but you still have Barafra. They told you it's not your name where you still have it, you're still Barafra, and whether they take your name or not. The Isle of Man, England, Wales, Ireland, Scotland, they're all part of Britain. They didn't take their name. They didn't even take away their flag. Wales has its flag. Scotland has its flag. They didn't take it away from them. They kept their names. They took yours away. But you can get it back. You have to, you have to ask why you can't be Barafra now. Because you're told that you cannot be. Are you afraid? If a man tells you today you're going to die, do you lay down and die? You say, no, because only God knows because God gave you life. And in this, in this case, God gave you Barafra. A man took that away from you. Lugard, he told you you can't be Barafra. It is time now. You have Barafra. You just need to support it a bit more. You need to help it get back up off its knees and bring it back to full strength. The coordinator from Germany, one of the coordinators, he's not Germany's main coordinator, but he's one of the district coordinators, Easy, has gone to Holland to find out what's going on. Because the director said on there, I think it was just the other day before, this man go to Holland now and, and, and find out what's happening. And he did exactly as he was directed, amazingly, because he listened and he did what is needed. Because he's a coordinator, like other strong coordinators in this group, because they know that they, what they want is Barafra, and they know that they're raising the world to get Barafra. And they're all under the support of 
an amazing, formidable coordinator of coordinators like Inyaga, like Chukwa Inyaga, I must say his name correctly. You know, and we're there. You contact us. You contact um, Inyaga or you contact myself if you are lost. The world is waiting for you to help yourselves now, and they will come and help you, but you need to show that you're helping yourself. And Radiographer has done this. They started to work, and everybody must pull out underneath it to give it full strength. The weight of the people, the weight of the mass will move the entire world, and that is what we're doing. There's a lot of women adding me. There's a lot of women contacting me now. There's a Women's Sunday meeting coming up. The world, I mean, the God is doing an amazing job out there. Please, there's, there's worldwide groups for women, so you can reach them as well. Contact me, or I, you can always find me on Radio Breathful London group page. I always say group. It's not the like page where you go on there and like. It's the group. Get onto the group. Ask to be added, and you'll be added, because we add everybody. We even have saboteurs on there, because we have freedom of speech. But you can add into there. Don't worry about the saboteurs. You, you will see the Breathfuls in there, telling them about themselves. Just find me. You'll see my face on there. It's quite easy to find Carol Monday and send me a message and I'll help you and I'll direct you. Don't just say hi, because I get a lot of hi. Say, I want this now. Demand to me, say, I need to know the number for Germany. I need to know the number for Thailand. Put me in touch with this coordinator. Put me in touch with whoever that you need to support this cause or whatever it is that you need. If you need a bag of detail, 